I yes, we're live. <laughs> Are you, you think you're a little bit too we can we can well we can adjust that while we're getting introductions out of the way no worries is that so huh wait a second <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, this was the master plan here, but if everything's correct, people can hear everyone now. You sure? Hello. Ah, perfect. Mm. You missed our jokes for the beginning of the stream. So, yeah, so, <laughs> so but I'm I sure there will be more. Uh, I will post it into our chat. Um, Just for. People that were tuning in, we're just having, we just had a little pre-game chat here, and we talked about the gentleman class. I'm gonna look it up. I, I can't. Great. Uh, Kara just posted it in the Discord, which you all should join. <laughs> um, we do memes there. <laughs> oh, I can also do that. But yeah, the gentleman class is actually pretty well yeah. developed. I mean, it's overpowered as hell. But, yeah, but um, I think right. for, for a funny one shot, everyone oh, yeah. took some uh, or takes some um, subclasses that are kind of um, what they think is cool <laughs> and it could, can be overpowered and it's just like a, a completely oh. blow up. It's this so is literally good. this is literally a character that I'm playing in a different campaign that I've only got to play like two sessions because we haven't been able to like get everyone together. But it's literally the like the last character I've made. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love just made how them. he has a sword with a hand that's holding flowers and in his other hand he has a puppy with three heads. Oh, the great. art is yeah. great. Um, I, it's, really cool. it's literally, I just made my character a bard, but like this is literally their their whole way of being. That's so amazing. funny. I'm on a horse. <laughs> bachelor in the market. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so cool. And after all, how it is written. <laughs> at level 18, at level 17, you get a new haircut. Mm. At <laughs> at, starting at level 9, uh, you gain serious biceps. <laughs> hey, I will send oh you. I will. Okay, my character has some extra stuff, but I will send you now a picture on the Discord so you yeah. know what I mean, and you tell me if if they could f uh, or he could fit on the mm -hmm. stereotype or not. Because I can't with this. This is so much like what I would <laughs> like to play. What rope change at level fourteen? You can get, oh. you can become an ex gentleman, <laughs> apparently. Uh -huh. You can break the gentleman code and be exiled. Scoundrel. No, so he is stripped. <laughs> he is stripped of all gentleman skills and class features, and it may only gain them back by carrying a humanoid of the opposite uh, sex for all full day for a full day, like an ex gentleman should. <laughs> Apparently, I think I would change that to to like yeah. whatever gender they normally prefer. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So um, direct from text, though. Um, yeah. Interesting. Uh, we... Why is it OP? Because then, it, I mean, for a one shot, it could be fun. But like, then it's not fun if you. Want there to are play proposal it. modifiers. <laughs> 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 there are proposal modifiers. <laughs> I see. Okay, let me send you the picture. So, player must actually bring, wear, or perform these items to the session to gain these modifiers to their proposal. And there are things in this, like, 
a ring of flowers or lit candles and even poems. <laughs> okay, why isn't there a video of someone actually proposing this way yet? That's the real I question. don't know. We should, we should really do, uh, do this at some That's point. quite the missed opportunity. Have a casting call um, for engaged we, people. Should we maybe go on? Because I don't think Chad knows what we're talking about right now. <laughs> uh, we are talking about the gentleman class. <laughs> the I gentleman class by Old this. Spice. Welcome to the stream of Horde of Tales for the race of the Ice Dragons. Yeah. Today, there will be no campaign. It will be just talk about D&D. Mm. Specifically fair, the gentleman. That's, that's normal. That's We're normal. Critical analysis of all the kind of homebrew that we can find. It's, uh... Yep. Uh, Hi, Izzy. This is cool. <laughs> Hi, Chet. <laughs> uh, nice ah. to see you here. Uh, we missed some of you last week. When we were restart starting after one week of break. I gave Hi Easy. Hi Mango Ray. Who is there as well? And we have we have Jenna back today. After... Yes, we're yes. a full crew once again. <laughs> Welcome I will back. I be able to find Sadria inside the cultist chamber. Yeah. <laughs> it truly. Yo, uh, what are we doing? Hmm? Find out if I'm joining the cult for real or not. <laughs> <laughs> we walk in. We think it's the silver-haired lady running everything. There's just Sadri on a throne with a crown. <laughs> oh, maybe. She's like, well, it took too long, so I got bored. <laughs> Did get distracted by a pig. <laughs> Yo, okay. What are we playing today, Race of the Ice Dragons? Uh... Hello, Marco. And we have today here Marcus. Hello. And Serial. <laughs> this enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so cold because it like it, it was snowing this morning outside. Weather is insane. So I, my energy is not like super high because I'm just like. You're in hibernation mode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect and, for getting in the mode. And then there's Bailey. Hi. Uh, over there. That one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we have Luke. That's me. Hello. <laughs> so, and before I forget it, Jenna, who is back from Jenna. holidays and probably the most relaxed person that we're having <laughs> this round <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, and, sure. <laughs> and also Kara, our lovely dungeon master. <laughs> we need like sure. we need like one of those late night TV shows uh, bands that like play us on and play us off. Like uh... <laughs> we do have intro. We do. We do have we do intro, have but intro. before we are playing this um short announcements. So, the music that is played today is made by Adrian von Ziegler, Arcane Anthems, White Music, and uh, how was the name of this one? Uh, Dark Fantasy Studio. So, most, uh, most art that you will see in the intro is made by Serial. Um, and we are playing the game Rise of the Ice Dragons, written by Midnight Tower. Um, is there anything else? Thanks, Izzy, for the for the gift, for the sub. Hey. Um, hey. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, if you want to follow us, we have a Twitter and a Discord. You can find the links below this video. Just click on the on the buttons, and you will be sent there. Um, and yeah, you can follow us, you can sub us, you can love us, whatever you like. <laughs> Ring the bell, subscribe, all those things if you're watching on YouTube. Smash the like button! Smash it! But don't break it, be gentle. Tell it gets. <laughs> Smash it with gentleness. Yes. <laughs> tell, tell, tell your family about us, write letters. It's uh. <laughs> er <laughs> write us letters. Write letters. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you send them? You'll never know. Yeah. Oh, uh, Gabe. That is a great name. Wow. Fitzgeraldine F. Fritz, Fritzenberger, Gentle Person Adventure. The F stands for Fizzleton Fort Squire Franz Bruntwein. Franz <laughs> Wow. 
Yeah, we're in. <laughs> well, okay, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I guess anyone else has something to mention? If not, we're going into the intro. <laughs> All right, then. Let's roll that intro. Let's go to that intro. Players on intro. But back here, <laughs> you might ask Great yourself, Bjorn. yeah, why are my shoulders lifted like this? You will never know, but anyway. Okay, Yes. Since you're so enthusiastic today, yes. why you're making the, uh, the recap? Of course I'm enthusiastic today, because A, I can do the recap again, and B, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. That always makes me enthusiastic. Um, what happened last time? Um, the majority of our party made it closer and eventually to the camp where the dragon cultists are and where our cleric Sadria is doing some infiltration mission. Um... On our way there, we had an encounter with a two-headed Etten, who took quite something of a fruit, um, even after uh, Hemlock did his best to just talk to the Etten. Um, but we shared food. Uh, Rowan's excellently made food. And after another day of travel, we did have some telepathic communication with Sadria about what was going on at the cultist camp, what we could expect, who to look for. Apparently, we're supposed to look for a white-haired woman there. Um, and in the evening, we made it to the outskirts of the camp. It was a large door. There were two cultists in front of it. There was a farm. There were chickens. There were pigs. And in good D&D tradition, we pondered possible plans of getting in there. Um, there were some electrocuted um, cultists. An electrocuted piglet, unfortunately. Um, but eventually, thanks to the idea of Rowan, we made a little ambush for the cultists, um, overpowered them, stole their robes, um, Athar and Hemlock dressing up as the cultists, and um, making chit-chat with the cultists of the next guard shift, while Illyria and Rowan, invisibly, got into the camp, Athar and Hemlock got after them, the closest, the doors closed, we were in the camp, um, Credits started rolling, and now we're back in the next episode, so Caro, back to you. <laughs> I think we were having dinner, and Illyria was eating under the table. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Or like we yeah. had like just gotten into like the dinner yeah. hall. Yeah, you, you, oh. th that was basically the aftermath uh, where you were like, um, shit talking what, could, what you could do. Uh, okay. So, you you just went inside there, inside the cave where the cultists are living. So, two of you have some um, cultist robes. Um, I, as, actually, it's three of you, since Cedra is somewhere in there trying to be like one of them. So, I will put Cedra inside. And she is sitting between a bunch of them and eating dinner for the state. And yeah, the others of you are just standing inside of the entrance hall that you can see. And you can see um, that at the entrance hall that along the walls there are simple wooden hooks for outdoor cloaks and stands for boots so um, that if you have any dirty boots or clothes that you can hang them up. 
the stone floor shows sign of a frequent use, but it's absolutely clean. One thing that you all notice, um, since I guess you're normally looking up, you can see that those who are coming across you um, have a little bit a more bent over stance, so looking down so, so that you can't really directly see their face. So, and you see on the other side of the hall some cleaning tools standing there for cleaning floors or tables. So, um, that's what you see in the entrance hall. Well, um, I know Illyria and Rowan, yes, were invisible at mm -hmm. the moment. Yeah. So they probably can more or less freely go. Um, mm -hmm. I will um, try and look for for Cedria because mm -hmm. since we know that everyone's having dinner now, I, it would be a, the, our best bet to find her. So I just while Athar is starting to look around, I lower my head a little bit, but very mm -hmm. quietly try to say like, Robert, Aleria. Right over there. Oh, just f follow us, okay? All right, all right. I, I try to not bump into just, anything or anyone. Just yeah. One same. question: Since you're just out of the snow, you all, except of Cedra, are you taking off your your shoes to not show signs that someone is walking with dirty boots around there? Do I wear shoes? I don't know. Do you? I, I, I do. I don't um, think I do. The frigid north? I mean, I don't really have feet. I have, like, paws. He's got, like, paws. I got paws. So I feel like <laughs> yeah. I would, like, wrap them up in, like, heavy-duty, like, leather, I guess, or something. He's got um, little sockies. Yeah, I got socks. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this whole adventure in socks. It's candy. Yeah, what, what, I, what I mean is, I don't know if, like, against the cold, I, I think you should have some kind of protection. True. I just I just wipe the I don't know the soles of my shoes with my cape and then see if I can like somehow avoid to I don't know draw attention to me or like mm -hmm. is this greater invisibility or regular invisibility regular that's... regular I don't think yeah, we have yeah, yeah. we don't have we don't have greater invisibility oh, right. yet right that's not available till later okay yeah. so I will not cast this spell then <laughs> um it would be very useful right now. <laughs> Oh, that is actually a good thing also, to mention. Also, you don't know if casting a spell with verbal con components would draw attention towards the group. True. True. Yeah. Thanks, common sense. Um, <laughs> the... <laughs> well, it's only verbal and somatic. Um, I will just kind of like do a big old, I guess, dog shake. Even though cats do it too, I suppose. Um, and just try to like get the snow and stuff off my self, and then I'll walk over to where like the coat racks and stuff are, and just kind of like wipe my feet on <laughs> one of the cloaks that's hanging there. <laughs> okay, on the cloak, just just like on some poor other cultist's cloak. <laughs> um, Hopefully, they don't get you know ranked on their cleanliness. Car, Car, you mentioned that. The floor looks like it's been walked over a lot, but it's super clean, right? It's super clean, yeah. Super clean, okay. Perfectly clean. Huh. Mm. You can't see yourself in the floor. Yeah, this makes the cult even creepier, in my opinion. Um, <laughs> right? Like, I, they I have time to clean. No, I, 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 guess, I, yeah. don't, I don't trust places that are too clean. Um, <laughs> Hemlock would take his boots off. Mm -hmm. Like, walk over to one of the... You see they're standing some other um, shoes that are probably more uh, born inside. Cool. So you can change them. Oh, so are they like um, house shoes that I could put on? Yeah, kind of, kind of like this, yeah. Are they warm and fluffy? No. Oh, well, I still oh. put them I still put them on. Um, so I take off my boots, put on some, yeah, what house shoes. What is this cold? 
Why do they have house Focus shoes? Focus slippers. Yeah. <laughs> comfy though. I mean, yeah. Are they brainwashing slippers? <laughs> I just I put what the kind of slippers do you use? <laughs> I wear they socks, not mind of their own. <laughs> so, um, um, where should we start looking first? Well, so, have I seen... to give you some perspective, in front of the room to the to the west side, there is um, it seems like uh, a way going off to the east <clears throat> and to the north. You see some double doors to a different room. What do we and hear? I smell food. Ah. Yes, you can smell food, and oh, oh. you smell it coming from the east side. I walk up next to Hemlock and kind of like nudge him Ooh. and go, uh, food's over to the east. Mm. Not that he can see where I'm pointing, but. <laughs> um, I, I know where the cardinal directions are, so. Mm -hmm. I'll tug a bit in, on, on Hemlock's like um, cloak um, sleeve mm -hmm. to make him right. go that way. East is to the right, right? Mm, to the, the eastern yeah. corridor. Yeah, yeah. Never eat, so yes. Doop, doop. Doop. I'm gonna move my token. Yep. Oh, here, okay. I see. Ah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yes. Art. I guess Illyria and Ruin, um, I thought I will, like, stop I'm a little bit. I'm following you when I well, see you. Yeah, so. well, yeah they're, we're like, just kind of tailing of, you. They will just... <laughs> I kind of kick their boots on the side of the rock wall, you know, mm -hmm. to like let any snow that like accumulated on them fall before entering. Um, okay. And we'll just say, um, Ruin, Elyria, you're free to follow us, but you can also, if you want, I guess you're invisible for a while, so if you want to just look around and see you what there is i think we might we will be yeah probably trying to talk to sadria if she's here so just you know all right um i mean we can maybe snoop around on our own for a bit you don't have to just you know since we will like we will probably be here so you can find us again mm. All right, um, Rowan, do you think we should just go into the other direction? Just look around? Mm. Why not? I'm sure they can handle finding Illyria. And to be honest, we probably all shouldn't clump up. I mean, finding Sadria. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, we probably shouldn't all clump up that way. If one of us is caught, we'll at least um, not all be caught at once. Yeah. Uh, so maybe I... we should steal a robe you know, two ropes for us also, because, just in case. So. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Mm. Um, so we'll go, I'll go back to the little, like, coat closet mm. and grab a cloak that will fit me. I don't know if that breaks my visibility. Um, at the Does moment, there is no rope hanging there, just um, cloaks for the outside. Oh, gotcha. So, but, right. uh, but maybe you find somewhere a rope that you can use. I mean, there's still some time left on the invisibility spell. True. We like just got in here, and it's like an hour yeah. long. Right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so I'll whisper to Hemlock and um, Athar, and be like, "If you find Illyria, send us a message or something. We're gonna, we're gonna head down the left Sadria. corridor." Sadria. Ah, oh, wow. I mean, you can also look. Um, you can also <sighs> play hide and seek and look for Illyria. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rowan, wake up. There we go. <laughs> So, Illyria and I will head down <laughs> the other yeah. corridor as you two look for Sadria. Okay. <laughs> okay um, for those who are uh, take, mm, going inside of the food hall, um, you can see there are thin jute mats uh, that provide seating by three low tables. And these are placed side by side down the middle of the room. 
The floor swept and scrapped clean, totally clean. There's a natural well in the northern end of the room. This room, you can obviously see, this is used for eating. And as you know, uh, right now there is dinner time. And you can see around, let me look how many are sitting there. Uh, at the moment there are six cultists sitting there. Um, you can't really see their faces since their hood's up and they are eating uh, bent over. Not really, you don't hear any talking right now. It's really quiet at the moment while they are eating. That makes our job easier. And you can see while they are eating, there are three other cultists in the room that are just cleaning. Mm -hmm. so I will try and make it towards the table because the people, like the guards that we changed with, mm -hmm. mentioned that, oh, there won't be any food left if you take too long. So yeah. we're expected to come mm -hmm. in here. So I will just find if there's a seat. Yeah. I mean, there's there are some, some seats left that you can take. Like enough to choose from. Oh, okay. Uh, do I see Sadria? Um, give me. You can give me a perception check with advantage since you are not looking down on the floor. Um, 17. 17, yeah. Very, uh, totally easy for you to, to spot her. She is at the end of the room mm -hmm. sitting there and. Um, she is basically sitting around two of the student mats away from the other group that is there. Okay, well, if the seat's next to her, I will mm -hmm. sit next to her. If, okay. If Athar is going over to... I mean, I don't I don't think that Hemlock would have spotted Sadria. Um, he lets Athar go to one end of the table area. And Hemlock just tries to go to the other end, like try to get a place between some of the cultists that are eating there. Mm -hmm. um, as you sit down, there is a cultist coming out of the kitchen, which is connected to this room, and brings you, each of you, um, a bowl with some soup in, uh, in there. Yeah. You can see potatoes and cabbage. Uh, if you, if you will eat it, you will um, get get to know that's totally unseasoned. <laughs> it's basically Bland. water water with a bit of herbs and potatoes and cabbage. I thought just like who is their head as the person comes and mm -hmm. you know takes the bowl mm -hmm. and looks at Sadra says hey. Sadria. Oh, it's you said that I was sitting by myself and yep. then they came over? Mm hmm Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Nobody here talks. It's so boring. The, mate, She's gonna kind of like say we... under her breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe we shouldn't... Oh, oh, we're all here. Um... Now Athar is like very nervous because they're very self-conscious that they're the only one talking and they're trying mm -hmm. very hard to not be heard. I don't mm -hmm. know if Sadria can hear them, <laughs> um, you know, with the mask and everything. Just like, I, um, I, so uh, we're all here. Um, Hemlock is over there. He, he entered with me. And Rowan and Illyria are invisible right now. I don't know where they are. They, they went to explore. All right. 
follow me. And Sadri is going to get up and do like, put her head down and do mm-hmm. like the prayer hands and kind of like mutter some dragon nonsense under her breath and sort yeah. of like okay. walk out Scales, of the room. Scales, claws, like... <laughs> ice, breath. Yeah. Well, so Sadri, Sadri has been here for a day or two, so she probably at least knows parts of whatever kind of mm-hmm. you know, yeah, chanting sure. prayer or something they do. Mm-hmm. But, um, so she's, she's going to like walk out and do the thing and kind of like go like, like we're going to go do some more prayers and, uh, and walk out of the room like that. Okay. Do um, I, where do you walk towards to? Um, Sadri is familiar with this area. Jenna is mm-hmm. not, uh, is there, is there like kind of a secluded area in the direction of the like temple area where people normally do prayers like if we if we walk towards where prayer time is so you suspicious. know that there are prayers at 10 p.m so there are around three hours until this so normally there will be duties that were uh, that need to be done like cleaning washing clothes um Stuff like this, like a lot of cleaning. So you will know that there is um, actually um, you could go over to the library since there's a library that can be used for reading. And you know that by night time it's not not that used like over the day you know that there is kind of a storage room where it could, right. where someone um, where it could be quiet no one there um i mean you could also go to the flocking circle since it's night time and you know that flocking is most of the time Wait. during the early afternoon. I don't Wait. I don't want to go back to the flogging circle. <laughs> I'm done with Wait. the flogging circle Wait. for now. Um, <laughs> Wait, 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 Wait. Flogging circle. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> flogging circle? Every cold saver pastime. Yeah. You, want, you won't be doing You guys don't know alone, about that. You, know? you have to have company. <laughs> I'm going to ignore this and just look at the kitty behind uh, Luke right now and just like <laughs> d- d- erase the image of the flogging circle from my mind. <laughs> the flogging square would be weird. I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> no one wants to be the corners of a flogging square. Yeah, yeah it's weird. Just <laughs> Anyway, no, we're not going to go to the flogging circle. We're going to go to the library. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, See where is the library? Mm. That's room number ten. So this will mm, this you could enter through that door to the north. So easy, easy as it is, you can just go through there, and then you will enter the library after a second. You should see it. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, yep. Here we go. Yep. Okay. So we'll go to the library and find a little secluded spot. Sorry. And I'll pull out some books for in front of us so that we're definitely mm-hmm. studying diligently. So let's see if there's someone there. Um, you see just one cultist sitting there um, at the end of the room, look, basically looking through a book, seems not that interested in the book and probably half asleep by now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we'll keep an eye on that one, I guess. Yep. Yeah. So what you can see in the library. So you can see um, that there are rows of low uh, wooden desks with built-in seats that offers some space for reading and scribing. Like this this typical American school desk where you have to sit directly connected to it. Mm-hmm. So um, each of the, this desk has a 
a small lantern that is only lit if the desk is occupied. So um, if you're taking the seat, mm -hmm. the, the candle lights up. So you have uh, the walls are covered with bookshelves and there are, of course, there are books inside and these are mostly prayer books and religious works that are written by some cultists in the past and the present. There's also a low cupboard that contains quilts, ink, uh, paper, glue, calf skin and some other stuff so that you can buy the book by yourself if you're interested in, buy in writing a book. So. <laughs> Cedria knows that this room is mostly used for studying and for scholarly work and as it is during the day, even, it's even in the night, you have the smell of lantern oil and these musty tomes in your nose. So I'm just gonna pull a random book off the shelf. Oh yeah, 12 prayers to brainwash yourself into loving dragons. This one's my favorite. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of sit down. Um, I see there are some tables, some benches over here that are more like longer benches. So I'll probably, I'll probably bring everybody up. Um, this is, uh, wait a second. This is actually the part where the flocking circle is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the flogging circle. I don't want to uh, go. The connected circle. to the um, library, obviously. The... I'm, isn't everybody's? The... That's where I keep my flogging circles. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I, I have just decided Rose. that Hemlock stays the rest of the session in the food area and is just gonna <gasps> make friends. <laughs> Please make friends. I mean... Oh no! I just <laughs> see that Afar is in the flocking circle, etc. You went to the <laughs> to the other side with this podium or whatever this is. Yeah, I'm moving my. Yeah, it's are. It's okay. Hard this... to see places, so I'm moving my. This is the ceremonial so chamber. <laughs> Mm. Okay, so yeah, I probably would just stay in the library part, though. Okay, I didn't realize it was library. connected without doors. Sadria knows what's going on, Jenna doesn't know what's going on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Mm -hmm. I um, we'll, so, yeah, like, we while sit, Sadria we is, like, looking... Book. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, while Sadria is, like, looking for a place to sit down and just in a book and blah blah, like, Athar is genuinely interested in what kind of books are in this library so they're going to like go okay. to the to the shelves and like read over some of the titles and just pick up one that they find interesting mm -hmm. uh so there are books in there like my life with the dragons how the worship cleaned myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no and uh, things like how to be a, uh, a good believer in the power of the dragons. Hmm. 100 reasons why dragons are the apex species on the planet oh. and are better than you. <laughs> I'll take the how to be a, a good believer or a good okay, artist yeah. and uh, actually like skim through it while Sadra, like I'll, I will go there to where she is. There are actually paintings inside there. Ooh, nice. Which are, go which are not here. that bad. I'll go over there and sit next to her, and like while I'm listening to whatever she's gonna say, I'm gonna, mm -hmm. you know, page through the book, see what yeah. I find. Okay. Ice dragon worship for dummies. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so. I missed you guys so much. I didn't think I was gonna miss you guys, but I really missed you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. I think um, we're here now. Are you okay? Did you? I don't know. Have you been yeah, hurt? Yeah, I'm or... fine. It... No, I haven't. Ugh. Okay, so like, here's the rundown on this weird place, right? I saw the floggers so... over there. Like, do you have a proper like? Are they responsible with them? Or... <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's totally consensual. Um, you flog yourself for your sins. So, like, whenever you have sins, I think it's like once or twice a day, you go flog yourself. I don't remember. I've been I've been using my spiritual weapon to do it for deep because I have no sins. I'm perfect. Um, 
Anyway. You suddenly <laughs> feel your faith in dragons isn't strong this enough. Is so good. Block yourself. <laughs> Uh, I flock myself twice a day. <laughs> you know, for funsies. To keep the sins away. Um, builds character, right? Depends. Like, do you prefer like a like a many tail <laughs> flogger or like a like a one, you know, like a thin one that is more like? I don't. Or, like, I just make it it look like whatever these ones are. It really this is really not matter. a character. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I would like the fluffiest whip <laughs> with the l less pain as possible. It's a good thing we tied those guys anyway. up in bondage outside, right? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this campaign has an undertone. Like... Oh yeah, Jenny, you missed anyway, that. Anyway, none, none of that, none of that happens in character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just Maybe they do this for like two hours and then they clean everything up and then they pray forever and then they eat and then they pray again and like guys are so boring. Like it's only per pray like is it like maybe more or other people like for example yeah, it's like eat, eat pray clean. That's it. There's no spices <laughs> in the food. There's nothing else to do. These books are boring. Ugh. Is it, so have we found anything nobody has a that sense is, of like, humor relevant like have we found anything on the book that is just, i don't know well you will from your perspective you will say this is totally bullshit what is written there like there, there are poses how to kneel right on the floor while praying the words mm. for the prayers, that would be the, probably the most interesting for you. Does it say we're kind of dragon? Because um, we have a hunch, we haven't actually confirmed, Ooh. so... Your, uh, the thing is that you would also have seen that there are quite some books about Tiamat. So, uh, probably um, they are kind of into this dragon queen. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... And also about other dragon colors, mostly um, the not good ones. Mm. And uh, yeah. chromatic. Yeah, I guess chromatic. Yeah, chromatic. Typically. So, because um... from what we from what we've learned so far, the cult used to worship all dragons, regardless of mm -hmm. um, alignment. Mm -hmm. And then they got a little bad after their leader died. And no. Just yes. a itty bitty little bit. Yeah, it, it devolved into, you know. Yeah, into mm -hmm. what it is currently. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Honestly, it wasn't that bad at the beginning. It was just a person being like, yeah, I made a dragon friend and like I learned these things. And the dragon was like, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, it's... Oh, I mean, cults never start out <laughs> bad, do they? <laughs> so, anyway. Yeah. So and we'll um, we'll tell uh like we'll lean to Sadra and be like um like because when when like it's not exactly the same but in the monastery obviously not everyone does the same things and like maybe like you know beginners and like people that have just started and joined the monastery are usually doing more of the like everyday common chores and the prayers and. But then other people uh, who are veterans or who have been there for longer, they tend to do other things. For example, I specialized in, in medicine and in um, the art of fighting, obviously. But, you know, we have many um, different people uh, in different branches in which you could go. So is there anything like, I mean, I assume if there's a leader, sh sure. But then like apart from it, is, have you seen any other... Is it just really praying and cleaning? Uh, Carolyn, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think from all from all I know, it, I've only seen the praying and cleaning part. Correct. Uh, you saw the. I've only been here like one day. Yeah, you saw the the, the praying, eating, cleaning, praying, punishing yourself, more praying, <clears throat> more cleaning, oh, more eating. Gotcha. So yeah. the most annoying I mean, that they're praying at 2 a.m. <sighs> <laughs> the snoring of the I awful mean, cultist. Like, <laughs> the, the, the woman with white hair, whose name I don't remember now, it starts with an L. 
Lavinia, that's the one. Mm. I mean, like, Lavinia's in charge. I'm sure she does other stuff, but, like, I've only been here a day. I don't, I'm not, you know, high enough level to know whatever it is we're actually doing around here. I, it's mm -hmm. all I've seen is just praying and cleaning and flogging. And let me tell you, <laughs> these people are weird, okay? Like, they really care about this. Like, they're actually into this stuff. Everybody's, like, super devout about it. Mm -hmm. Especially have Fitz. Seen, Fitz, I'm pretty sure, is here because he's trying to bang a dragon. <laughs> You're welcome, Gabe. Uh, <laughs> I've seen name used. <laughs> Athar completely forgets what they were, like, their train of thought. It is gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because what? <laughs> Uh, um, Sandra, you know that there are some parts of this uh, cult that you haven't seen yet, since you weren't allowed in there. So this is especially like the room that is behind the library. It's close by some doors. So, and then there is the room close to the... Oh god. I'm always forgetting. To the uh, ceremonial ch uh, ceremonial chamber, which is also closed for you. Mm -hmm. So I, I'll mention that to them and be like, eh, prayers are going to be coming up soon where everybody has to gather. So if there's any more room for, you know, invisibility, sneakery, maybe looking into those places while the rest of us are being so devout. So everyone congregates at the same time then, right? In like at the same chamber or, okay. Then and maybe Lavinia tell... leads it, right? Mm hmm Lavinia leads the prayer time? Yep. Or she's, oh. yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Then that would be very, very useful. We need to make uh, Rowan and, and Illyria now. Mm -hmm. Also, oh, as far and... as and oh, one sorry. thing that you saw, Sedra, there are some prisoners inside, which is connected to the flogging room. There is a prison connected to this. Uh, there is some... Um, there is some cloth that is hanging over the bar so that you can't see that there is anything behind it. It's more like decoration. So the prison is kind, kind of covered by... for the ears... Uh, for the eyes. I'm gonna mention that too. Mm -hmm. okay. So if we need any help, I mean that might be, that might be where we go to get help. Yeah, that might be good looking into. Okay, uh, could you? Well, we we still have to find Rowan and Illyria eventually because I don't really know where they are. But maybe, if not, maybe you can send a message. Um, can you send a message today? Yes, I can. Um, oh, okay. By the way, Carol, what time is it right now? Um, right dinner? now it's after dinner, probably around half eight. Okay, so we mm -hmm. have we have like an hour and a half or so. Okay. Before yeah. uh, before prayers. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Also, I've, as far as I've seen, everyone wears the the cloaks all the time, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. All the like, time. Are we gonna need? different clothes or some mm -hmm. other way of disguising ourselves. But if it's just a cloak, I can mm -hmm. probably do that pretty okay. Okay, um, then maybe send them a message, tell them what's You want going to, to send a message where you are? No, I, I'm just, I, I can do it. I'm just telling Sadria. No, I, I'm just should... asking, you want to cast it where you are? Oh, I don't no, I d it doesn't have to be now. Like, it wasn't that do it now. It was a we should let them know. But we we'll, we will we'll see where where yeah. Um, yeah, maybe because if if there's a schedule, then it would be good. Maybe they can calculate when to use their spells or when to go where if people are going to congregate on the same. Where are they gonna? Which room are they going to use? They're going to be over here on the right for prayers. So there is a prayer room. Um, there are so many 
rooms. Um, this is the room that is directly connected to the entrance hall with the double doors that you have seen before. Many rooms. So, and the oh, next please. prayer I said, I said we are knows is at 10 p.m. So until then, um, after dinner, do we need to clean something or is staying in the library? Uh, <clears throat> staying in the library is okay. So um, a few cultists already have gone to, to bed to get some sleep before the prey. Uh, praying, um, some others are doing laundry, some are cleaning the kitchen. So, um, if you find work, you can do this. If you prefer to spend your time in the library for studies, you can also do this. Um, sometimes you're getting aside uh, some some work, like going going outside on the farm, feeding the, the chickens and stuff like this. Right. Yeah. Nothing bad ever happens at the farm. Nothing. Ever. So, is there anyone with us in the library? Yeah, there's one person with you in the library. Oh, okay. Is it Fitz? <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure. <laughs> is it that weird, though? <laughs> uh, okay, so... Um, I thought I would just say, like, hey, then maybe we should find um, some place and send a message to Illyria or Rowan and let them know. Actually, I should go check on Hemlock. He stayed at the dining hall, and by now, if he hasn't started talking about purple worms, <laughs> he might be in trouble. Either he's made friends or he's made enemies, so I better say what happened okay hemlock yes oh what i didn't think to about you? that we really should have had hemlock just shut up here <laughs> so um hemlock would have not noticed athar and sadria leaving so uh, <laughs> he's just sitting at the table and i'm a, i'm imagining he's sitting next to some of the other cultists that are just eating having their hoods low mm -hmm. and hemlock really doesn't like silent dinners so if noticed um he <clears throat> he turns to the cultist next to him mm -hmm. just goes oh terrible weather today right mm -hmm. and uh praying circle today was a bit uh uninspiring don't you think They are looking slightly to you. I mean, it was still, I feel, still feel, feel filled with the grace of the dragons and the magnificence of their beings, but there was, it missed a bit of spice today, didn't it? <laughs> really? Of spice? And he just, as he says that, he looks down in his bowl where there's still, where there's still the soup in there. Uh, Untouched. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Cold. No, no offense. I, um, all hail the dragons. Uh. <laughs> yes. When in doubt, all hail yeah. the dragons. Perfect. Is that the actual say? Please let it be the actual say. <laughs> that would be so funny. It should be. Uh. Oh. I need an, I need a shirt now with the with the saying "All hail the dragons." <laughs> oh oh yeah, that would sell. That would sell like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> On you. <laughs> yeah, I I would buy like ten okay. definitely mm -hmm. different colors. <laughs> uh, yeah. All the chromatic uh, colors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the cultist is looking to you. You know, aren't you? Yeah, um, just came up from Northwind. I was tired of not serving dragons. <laughs> this 
are going great. I, I need a performance check from you. There weren't many dragons. I need to go around dragons. <laughs> per performance, you said, right? Okay. Um, ooh, that's a total of 23. Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the name's Sage, by the way. <laughs> then, Sage, eat your soup and be thankful for it. As all the gifts given by them, all hail the dragons. And I, like, take a spoonful of the soup mm -hmm. and, like, slurp it. It, it, sm it tastes like cabbage, potatoes. Excellent. Um, yeah. And a bit, a bit too watery, mm -hmm. given the fact that it's basically just made with water. Yep, yep. I, I, I pretend to enjoy this mm -hmm. and just look around. But Hemlock wouldn't be Hemlock if he couldn't shut up for five minutes. And <laughs> um, he... He looks at the cultist across from him at the mm -hmm. table. Say, um, any plans for tonight? At flogging? <laughs> no, no, flogging <laughs> is, um, is the allowed to do Oh, 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 oh right. yes, is, no there's praying now. Oh. <laughs> no flogging Are for you... prayers, that's just unheard of. So the other one just slightly looks up and... You want to do something? Well, I mean... Laundry needs to be done. Laundry? Excellent! Back in Northwind, I was known for my laundry skills. Um... Just point me to where it has to be done. Do I have to... Keep in mind how much... Softener I put in there, or <laughs> <laughs> breaks the laundry immediately. <laughs> he puts okay. the light clothes with the dark clothes. Everything goes to yeah. Um, one uh, one of them gets up. I will show you the room. Great, just um, and he turns towards where he saw Athar. Um, mm -hmm. sit down to sit with Sadria, looks over at that end of the table, just now noticing that they're not there <laughs> anymore. And he was like, wait, I just have to say good... Oh. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll follow you to the laundry room. But could you first maybe show me the the men's room? Mm -hmm. the, the, the toilet? The... The, 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 the pits of relief. The... <laughs> oh, oh you great. got there. You got there eventually. Yeah. Let me see if there's something. Um... Oh, yeah. Connected to the flagging room. <laughs> <laughs> no? Um, no? Okay. There is actually such a room. Yes! Each connected to the, the to the sleeping quarters, so Good. you reason. will go. F they will lead you through the entrance hall to the other side to the restroom. There you see that there are the sleeping quarters. Then up there, now to the other side, there is the toilet. <laughs> All Not right. Up. All right. I, I'm moving you to the toilet. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you, you, see, you, see, else you end up in the flocking room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. Um, no. Um, so and the uh, wait, where where was it? Oh gosh, too many rooms. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is the the laundry, uh, the, the washing area and. The room where you can afford, where you can find the toilet. Good. And mm -hmm. yeah. So and in the storage, the the other place where I wanted to go, the other one that is connected on the other side, there is also the place where you're doing laundry and everything. Okay. So before Hemlock dedicates himself to the glorious task of laundry folding, 
Um, he's going to go into the toilet. And he's just like, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. And um, he's going to... This is a little bit up to you, Caro, if this is going to work. But I want to send a sending spell. And it has a verbal component. So I would, as quiet as possible, want to do the the sending okay. spell. Okay, as you're going in there, in the toilet thing. Um, so there are toilet chairs, and you can see they are divided by some molted woven screens. Good. But you also know that right next to you is a cultist probably sitting for their task. Oh. Oh, so I'm just, I'm getting so, in there, I'm getting in there into the stall, and I'm about to cast the spell, and I hear sounds from next door, and like, oh. So, but uh, let me see how long they will be in there. <laughs> <laughs> roll 1d10 to determine how long they will the be. The most important roll of the night. <laughs> yeah, it's actually roll 1d10 until the cultist leaves. <laughs> <laughs> somebody had to somebody had to write that in the adventure like roll 1d10 to determine when the cultist gets off of the toilet it's uh... yeah so um you're waiting until they leave um yes and okay. i'm and i'm uh, going to be takes... i'm going to be like annoying because i'm mm -hmm. going to sit down and i'm going to <laughs> whistle like like going a... <laughs> <laughs> okay very normal. So while you work, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, it, it takes around... Um, it, it takes around one minute or so and... Oh, not bad. That's good. Then you hear some shuffling okay. and then the other person is leaving. Okay, once they're out, I... As quiet as possible as the spell mm -hmm. would allow me to... Sent a message to uh, Sardria, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna go. Where did you go? I'm on laundry duty. Have to do the cleaning. Nice fellows here. Let's catch up soon. Goodbye. And. That's the, that's the cell that I sent to Sadra. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Okay. Uh, I'm going to <laughs> <somebody> shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. We'll be there in a second. Don't he's, he's, talk. Is he still in the, in the dining room? What happened? <laughs> no, he got... I forgot to tell him to shut up. So I know he said something. He's in the laundry room. We can go find him. Come on. Put your put your book away reverently. Let's go. Larry and I are just standing there watching. <laughs> <laughs> I think Hemlock just went to the bathroom. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> so, so where are Aluria and Gruen? We wanted to check out like the west. Um, ah, yeah. There. Okay. Um, you see there. Um, you you went directly into the sleeping quarters. Um, mm. you, you could actually, as you entered there, you could see that most of the floor space is taken up by thin horsehair mattresses, uh -huh. um, which are arranged in quite neat rows. So the space between them is really um good measured. Hmm. So, um, are there any ropes to steal somewhere? Um, good question. So, um, do we see anything? You, you could see that there are um, that there are like a thousand or so wooden boxes are stacked in tiny, uh, tight tidy columns along the shelves so there's this, like big shelves uh, where tiny boxes are stacked mm -hmm. um, which are covering the wall probably there's something in there they all look the same same size same color same everything they are all closed but there's it, okay. it seems like they're just closed up and not like uh with a 
there's no lock. There's no lock, yeah. Okay. That was the word I was looking for. Uh -huh. gotcha. So so you could take a look in there. Yeah. Other than around. that, um there is the a storage connected to this. Alright. Uh yeah, we'll look around like uh in mm -hmm. the in the chests and like in the storage to see if we can find a robe. So or remind you, you both are um invisible. Invisible. Yeah. And there are some uh, mattresses already fold folded out, and some people are sleeping there. Okay, All so right. people are already sleeping. Mm -hmm. Does does invisibility? Because the wording is kind of iffy. Um, does invisibility invisibility only break when you like perform an action and do a spell, or so like would like so open uh, um, box break it and stuff like that? So the normal thing will be if you are using an action, you can your spell breaks. But in in the end, like normal actions would be like fighting or something like this. So mm -hmm. I would say if you're going into combat, like uh, firing a spell or. Mm -hmm. uh, um, Slashing someone with a sword or something, something, or with your claws, then the spell breaks. But if you're doing something mundane, like picking something up, opening a door, or anything like this, then I don't think the spell would break because this is like so simple to do. Awesome. Um, then Rowan would definitely like, like avoiding trying to like avoid where people are sleeping. Mm -hmm. Look through some of the containers that aren't there until. Mm -hmm he sees Hemlock being led to the bathroom, mm -hmm. then he would follow Hemlock to the bathroom. Okay, you're in the process of... Um, I would say you, you're opening up one of the boxes that is quite good covered for the most of the use, and you can see in there that there is a, a bar of soap, a prayer book, some spare... A spare set of clothes that you can see, um, a wooden spoon, two bottles of ink, and a quill. Um, you can't find any kind of money or any personal things of value. So, and as you're opening up this the next chest, you can see the exact same thing in there. Okay. So, do I get the kind of vibe that this is, like, the personal storage like these are like everyone's lockers essentially yeah basically yep okay cool um i'm gonna swipe and everything one is of the... the same cool i'm gonna definitely swipe one of the prayer books okay um to get my hands on that and then i'll whisper over to Illyria. i guess just like whisper into the air mm -hmm. um be like i uh found some clothes in these boxes i think these are their lockers might be All able right. to might be able to grab some clothes we need yeah, okay, let's uh, let's do that and just quickly uh, put them on so they're invisible as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll drape over those. Um, how many people are asleep in the room? Uh, right now you can see around. Mm. Oh well, okay. Uh, right Maybe now you can see... Eleven people sleeping there. Whew. Okay. Definitely don't want to wake them up. And you hear one of them snoring quite loudly. Alright. Okay. Alright. Um, I'm not going anywhere near the people sleeping. Um, so... I guess I'll just go back into the middle of the room and then kind of like search the other corridors that are connected to this room specifically without going too far. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're going to the northwest, there is the storage room. Okay. So inside there you... Um, you can see a pile of spare mattresses, wool blankets, torches, a sack of simple tools, um, five crates, and a, a wardrobe of uh, linen. Hmm. All right. Nothing. I could pretend to be a ghost, but I will resist. Um... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> um, that would be fun. That would be fun. I'll resist, and I'll head back into. <laughs> um, I'll head back over to like where those lockers were, and update Illyria on the storage room to the northwest, and then the laboratories to the northeast. Mm -hmm. Um, go like, ah, looks like we're rather. Looks like there's not much here to be honest. It's spick and span and rather unentertaining. This must have been driving Sadria nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Um, all right, should we go back to the others, or should we go around looking more? I mean, you can see how Hamlock is led inside the room and towards the the washing room. Oh yeah, oh yeah. As oh. soon as you see Hamlock being led by two cultists, um... it's just one. It's just oh, just one. Um, they don't I'll... need two to to lead <laughs> Hamlock somewhere. I'll <laughs> tail them, and then when Hamlock enters into the bathroom, I'll just like lean on the door outside oh it's open you can just go in there <laughs> there's okay. no door okay. As, privacy um, is not much of a thing here <laughs> true i guess that's i guess that makes sense um i go into the room and as soon as the other person leaves and mm -hmm. hemlock starts casting his message i go you should probably be a little quieter with that <laughs> <laughs> I look, I, I look around if there's no other cultist here right now. No, the others have left. Okay. Because they were definitely sure that you can go to the toilet yourself. Yep, that... <laughs> fair assumption. Um, with... <laughs> I lean over to where I think Rowan would be, like... I moved. Athar... <laughs> Athar has found Sadria, but I kind of lost them. Great, we're doing real good sticking together here. Um, I think Illyria's here. Um, she's at least in the vicinity. Yeah, like I didn't like follow you like into yeah. the toilet, but yeah, like, <laughs> I'm around. I'm waiting. Um, um, for you. I mean, with how clean everything is, I'm sure the toilet is fine. Right. Like, yeah, but the smell, though, but, you know. It's like I could have come here dressed as a ghost, but I thought that was a bit much. Um, there's just kind of a storage room over on the other side, and then there's a whole slew of these cultists sleeping to the south of us. Um, do you know if... You say you've just gotten... You know that um, Athar found Sadria. Are they on their way here? Um, are they... Do we have a plan to meet up with them again? Or are we just all kind of scattered? No, I just, I just sent a message to Sadria, and she was really happy to hear from me. And that sounds like her. Yeah. But <laughs> to be completely fair, we don't really have a plan right now. I'm supposed to fold laundry here, and Athar and Sergei are somewhere deeper in this complex, I assume. But you and Illyria are still invisible. You, you, you got that message trick, right? I move again. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I have a message, but I don't exactly have sending prepared today, so uh, but message it makes me it a little bit funny. But doesn't message already do the trick a little bit? Because my idea would be, and I start like while I'm talking, I start to f fold the laundry that is here, like pick up a um, robe. You would need to go to the storage room. To the storage room. The, the washing room is for washing yourself. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> um, you. So. These newbies. Just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't work with them. Okay, so I would not go. <laughs> I would. I would finish this conversation first. Um, yeah. I would suggest that you and Illyria go further into this lair, and when you found them, you, any one of you, sends me a message, and I try to make my way to where you are. In the meantime, I'm gonna, I don't know, befriend some cultists. Sounds like a good plan. Um, Worked for uh, me. I walk over and I refold one of the things that Hemlock folded. There mm -hmm. you go. Pat, pat. I was like, well, um, I guess message me. 
if they show up, I'm going to try to find Illyria. Uh, yeah, I, I will hear you eventually and go, <laughs> okay, what's up? Um, well, Hemlock's what's doing up? Lo- <laughs> <laughs> well, Hemlock's doing laundry, and we don't know where Sadria or Athar are. Oh, we remind you, at some point, the invisibility runs out. Yeah, like an hour yes. after an hour. So, for an, at the moment, I would say you still have like around half an hour left, so not that okay. much. Do we want to try to go in deeper? There's a pathway up mm-hmm. to the north. All yeah, right. right. I, I mean, I would say so. We should like we have the advantage of invisibility right now, so yeah, mm-hmm. let's just All right. look around. All right, okay. let's not waste time then. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over into the storage room to do the laundry, and Hemlock mm-hmm. is just going to start to sing to himself. Ninety nine ropes on the pile. Ninety nine ropes on the pile. Pick one up. Fold around. Ninety eight ropes on the pile. And he just goes on like that. Okay. Does have a look here. Does uh, that there is no door mm, door between this room and the the sleeping quarters? There is not. No. Like I what said, there there's, there's n- there there are not many doors you can. <laughs> there is not much privacy here. You did say no. that. Mm-hmm. Um, he, could he sing to himself in a volume that wouldn't be too loud? Like, just like this... Like mumbling to yourself. The question is if he cares. That is a very good question. But on the other hand, there's also his friends here. And we're still trying to get an orb stone. So, like, I imagine like he would he would start out a bit loud, but then realize, like, oh, stealth. And um, <laughs> and just go more quiet to himself. Okay, yeah, that's that's okay. Because Hemlock just really doesn't like silence. He's like, like, yeah. okay, I, there needs to be something to be heard while mm-hmm. he's uh, while he's busy. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you're doing this more in a hushed voice or for yourself, <laughs> then it's okay. So Aluria uh, and Rowan, you're going up there onto the door. I'm opening the mm-hmm. door. There you go. Hey. Right. So, and you enter the next room. Yeah. And guess what room it is? The flogging room. <laughs> yeah, the flogging circle. <laughs> ah. I found it. Woo-hoo. My quest is complete. Yeah. So, <laughs> you can see in this room, there are four metal racks mounted on the wall. Um, that are um, holding an array of canes, whips, flockers, and other tools designed for inflicting. Tell me more. It's a whole, <laughs> it's a whole kinky wall. I'm like, wow. Do they have good equipment? Like these cultists? Yeah, they have good equipment. All for inflicting pain. <laughs> Uh, there are several long benches of seating for public punishments, uh, which mm. take place um, on a race stage at the far end of the room. Are we sure we're in the dragon cult? Are we in the Not right cult? Like, you know, BDSM dungeon? Is this uh, a dragon dungeon? Or like, are we? So, and then there is a smaller area uh, that's set aside for self regulation. Because then I would feel really bad about like the guards and the other two that we that we got. Because probably they were just here in vacation, you know, mm-hmm. to enjoy themselves. Maybe the dragons things... like that. You don't know. Yeah, it's so good that it's night time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Rhone looks at the so, um, array as, of as instruments. Rhone, yeah, as Rhone and Lure enter, uh, they can see that there is one cultist sitting next to the to the prison bars where you can just see that some of the cloth is set aside and it seems like they are talking to, to a prisoner or something in a hushed, soothing voice and you can hear um, something like, so, you should see the mighty dragons. When there's when it's it's as if the gods have come down from the skies, mm-hmm. and um, something along like yeah, we are the chosen ones uh, for the dragons, and we will uh, all right work for them and everything like this. Um, okay, I will ending them pamphlets. <laughs> have you heard the good news about Tiamat? <laughs> 
kind, kind of like this. There is none. <laughs> what, is, what is up with that room? Like, what, what are those dots on the ground? Uh, the dots there, that, that's to the prison. Oh, oh that's the prison. Oh, right. Yep. Uh, okay. Um, and, and in front of this, there is one cultist sitting in. Ah, uh, alright, alright. That's the prison. Okay, is there anything else in this room? I guess not. Oh. Uh, Mm, not for your no 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 no. I'm no. um, out. Meander my way over to the cultist whispering to the prisoner kind of thing, mm -hmm. and I'll like kind of peek in. Um, can I get a good look at the prisoner? If there's any more prisoners can in here? Can you give me a stealth check? Since you're getting quite oh. close to this cultist. God damn. But I have advantage because it's invisibles. Which is good because one of them was a one. <laughs> um, <laughs> the other one was a natural 19, though. Ooh. Plus two, so 21. Okay, yeah. Um... Which is almost the max stealth I can do. They don't notice you. Cool. Awesome. So I'll peek on in. So you can see that there are pretty thick bars that are uh, separating the two rooms. And. You can also see that the prison is locked by a heavy chain. Mm. So, um, at the moment, you can see that there is one prisoner. And it looks like a middle aged male human. So you can see that this uh, person uh, wears practical traveling clothes. And what quite catches your eye is this elegant sky blue cloak that they are having. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what you also notice is that there are dark rings under his eyes and a little bit of a Beard more like a three day stubble. So they don't look that that good in this situation. All right. Okay. So they've probably been here a while. Um. Okay. And the cultists are like sitting on the outside of the bars, whispering into him, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then, um, you don't know why they are doing this probably to, um, to gain the interest of this person for the cult. So, but it seems like they, they are just talking to them. Okay. Um, oh, do I want to do that? Um, I don't know, do you want? Uh, I'm gonna make my way over to the rack of various BDSM instruments. Um, We've agreed uh, that's their purpose. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna knock a few of them off the rack so they like clang and clatter onto the ground mm -hmm. and then make my way back to the bars trying to like as the cultists come close sneak around and like counterclockwise them back to the bars so i can be at the bars while they're trying to like if they get so, distracted by the thing so so basically making a reckless uh throwing something on the floors so if it won't have fallen down by itself yes exactly okay um yeah, sure, sure. Um, you would gain this notice, and I, oof, I would say, yeah, give me another self check to see how good you're doing with this. Andrea, where are you standing while Rowan is doing this? Um, well, I'm right here, and if I see like there's some shaking going on, I will be nowhere near that. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Fair, very fair. Um, all right, that is a. 18? Not as no, good. But, mm -hmm. It's still good. Okay, let's see how close they are coming. Okay, yeah, I'm doing good. You're doing oh. good. Um, this is like the one thing Rowan's really bad at. <laughs> um, <laughs> is stealth, so the dice gods are being very kind to me today. Um, 
Praise All the right. dice gods. Praise the dice gods. Take my penance. Log myself <laughs> later. Um. <laughs> not needed. Not needed. <laughs> um. <laughs> and if they and once they're distracted in like a way, um, I'm going to make my way back to the bars and I'm going to take um, one of my I get oh this is actually my last one. I'm going to take my last, um, what is it called again? My Rowan bar. Hmm. My last Rowan bar and chuck it over to the prisoner. Mm -hmm. And not say anything because I'm not going to try to expose myself that much. Um, and the, that bar, if he can manage to actually eat it, um, okay. will give him some health and rejuvenation back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just throwing this in out of your pockets? Yep. He's like, ha! And then after that, without, and once I see if it, I hope it lands close. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and then after that, I'll just meander my way eastward towards the direction of that. Okay, yeah. Further out. Mm -hmm. So the east is where Illyria was standing? Yes. So I, probably it's like you're uh, you're both just going there and uh, you can just see Alpha and Cedria standing on the other side basically about to make their way somewhere else. Um, oh. Alright, I will follow them mm -hmm. when I see them. So you're also seeing the library and that one person that is sitting there. You can also see that there is that one door up to the north. Alright. So now we have to full circle Cedra and the <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess we just got the, the message, right, from, from Hemlock. Right, uh... as we were like, going back to, to pick him up. Oh, they might have heard the clanging too. Yeah, you will have heard the, heard the clanging. Okay. So I guess we were on our way to no longer the dining hall, but the um, laundry room. Mm -hmm. And we just turned back, or at least I thought I will turn to see what the heck that was about. Yeah, the, the fastest way would be through the flocking circle down to the, uh, the sleeping quarters. There is the, the the storage lot room slash something something um, connected to. So instead of going the other way around through the other rooms, so you will definitely see that the um, the flocking tools have fallen down and half mm, well just nearly bumping into Aluria as you pass by. I. So turn around and I turn to uh, Sadra again. Oh, uh, is that normal? <laughs> you see that the other cultist that was sitting in the library got, gets up and makes his way over to the flocking room to help uh, picking up the stuff. To clean up the mess. Mm. Rowan would shoot a little whisper in their direction as they walked by. <laughs> Just be like, Hey, we're here. That was me. Don't be concerned. <laughs> Sandra. Sandra. They're here. We found them. Wait, have you found Hemlock? I think uh, he, he might be uh, washing clothes. Uh, yeah, he's folding laundry a couple of <laughs> rooms back. <laughs> I kind of want to let him stew in it, though. I think it's driving him a bit mad. <laughs> Oh, everything here builds character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I've seen the flogging pit. Um, what is up there? Oh, sorry. Oh, no. That's exactly what I was going to ask, though. Go for it. Mm. Okay. Um, where were we all standing? Like, can we see anything? Is there another room? There's another room. The door's closed. Oh, so, Andrea, what's in this door? You know, give a little... Uh, back, I think. A little bit above my pay grade, I've only been here for like a day, and I'm not like 
grand wizard status here. So there are a couple rooms, and I kind of like point in the direction they are. There are a couple rooms that nobody's allowed in except the higher up. So I'm thinking that's why if we can get some invisibility going during prayers and get a little snooping. What's the... Or, or I could try to pick the lock right now. Okay, let's see. Would that break your, oh. would that kind oh, of end no, our whole thing though? There. Oh, would it? Oh. No, okay. picking a lock isn't going to end invisibility. It's only Wait. attacking your spells. All right. Wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. And I snap my fingers and um, Zephyr <laughs> posts back onto my oh. invisible shoulder. All right. And be like, well, it's been a bio buddy. Good job doing your job. And then Ooh. I will um, try to, I don't know if familiars really work this way, um, but I would try <laughs> to have him reappear on the other side of the door and then look through his eyes. Cool. So you're shopping the all inside the room? Yes. Okay, <laughs> the door goes out and up. Just a little bit as the the, the old is shoved inside there with a push. <laughs> it's flapping around. And then I warg. Uh, I'll remind you the old is not invisible. It's not. It's true. No. Nope. It's just now though. It's fine. <laughs> it's I'm um... invisible. I'll step away from the door <laughs> and go over into this corner. Um, just in case someone comes sparking okay, out. Okay, so as, it, as the, the poor owl is shoved in, inside the room, it can see that in this room there is a small portable altar stand. Okay. Um, it's placed on a low bench in front of a prayer pillow. And there is also an altar next to a wooden desk with a built-in seat and a small unlit lantern. On the wall near to the desk is a shelf that holds 2,000 books, um, probably around journals and other documents. It's, um, if you will take, need, uh, take some time to have a uh, sapphire just fly on in front of the shelf, you will see basically everything. Um, there is also a thin horsehair mattress with a sim uh, simple uh, warm blanket that lies on the floor. Um, actually, for the viewers, uh, yeah, wait, I'm just putting just drag uh, me. time look just... for, for a second inside there yeah, so just... that people can, can see what's up there. Whoa. Yeah. So, um, it's, uh, if you press enter, you're centered on your socks. Um, so then... The, the room itself um, is as simple and frugal as the other rooms in the cultist layer. That's a, clearly a thing that you can see. Um, probably the, uh, the books and documents are probably her own property, as well as the, the altar that is, might be used for private prayers. So there's no one else in the room. Um, so I would say be thankful that Sapphire is not um, rubbed into pieces. Okay. I'm always thankful for Zephyr's bodily intactness. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> all right. Well, I'll um, whisper out and be like, the room up north's empty if we want to take a closer peek. So, um, but um, as, uh, from that, what you see, and since it seems to be a private room, you guessed might be eleven years Ooh. private quarters. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's Should interesting. Some big books in there too, private journals maybe. How much time do we have left on this invisibility? Mm, probably around 50 minutes by now, since you made some records in the uh, flogging circle. Or we could cast it again. True, we could. Um, or do we want to save that for prayer time, though, when everyone will be secluded? Mm. Yeah, right. right. Um, so, where are, what are Sadria and Azar doing at this point? 
did you guys make your way back to um, towards Hemlock, or were you just kind of like chilling in the library now that you know that um, Illyria and I are here? Well, since uh, we were talking and then you like sent Sefer and I saw Sefer, I assume, appear. Yes. Um, I thought I would have just uh, stayed over the uh, sitting on one of the desks and just like keeping an eye. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Kind of. Citra? Yeah. I mean, we. I. I feel like how the timeline worked out is got the message from Hemlock, started getting up to go find him, and then heard like, "Hey, we're here." I'm like, "Oh, okay, mm, well. yeah, okay." So, so yeah. I can, so I'll just be like, "I think that may be the bigwig's room, and it's empty. Do we want to risk it now, or do we want to come back during prayer time?" Mm. I mean, like, when's out, prayer time? Can watch. Uh, prayer time is at 10 p.m. And that it's is like an hour from now. An hour. Okay. Let's go now. Yeah, let's go mm -hmm. now. All right. How much? How much space is the in in the room? It's like a private room, a little private dormitory. So Not it's enough to to fit at least four people in, even and even okay. more. Okay, just because one of the one one of you who is invisible should probably go in. Um, but if if she she needs to do the prayer at ten, so if she comes back and you're still in there, or if she just comes distract back, distract her. I don't know. Just talk to her. I don't know. Just, well, just her you, need or enough, know. you need enough. You need enough time. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just if, if she gets quick, in there, you need you need space the... to move around. But yeah. if there's space, it's fine. We should be able to. I think we'll be able to manage. Yeah. All right, Illyria. Let's okay, crack this door open. All right. All right. So I try to get this door open. Okay, you're opening the door quite easily. Oh, all right. Oh yeah, I guess we did shove Zephyr through. <laughs> yep. <laughs> With that issue before. Um, right. So I just tear this place apart, looking for anything that seems slightly important. Okay. Uh, like like really tearing everything apart. Um. Not like. Not like actually tearing things apart like trying to make it look like that i haven't been there but like i'm heavily examining a uh, heavily examining okay everything. okay that's a want to know <laughs> i try to get into the room and i'm stuck okay give me an investigation check oh no, oh, no i'm stuck too oh wait i can open the door ha, -ha. Ah. oh wait no i can't no. <laughs> I'm just stuck slightly in the I don't in the see door. the room. What is this? Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot to open the door. <laughs> dynamic lightning. Uh, lighting. What is this? Is it open? Lighting. Uh, uh, no. Yet. I cannot see anything. Oh, that's not great. I see a little. move. I see a little bit. Ah, there they are. There we go. Perfect. Um, that is a 12 plus 5, so 17. 17. Okay. Uh, amongst the, ah, the okay. books and the parchments that you were having in that one shelf, you find um, amongst her letters a rolled up parchment of fine vellum. You can see there is a broken wax seal that is shaped like a grinning skull, surrounded by a ring of stars. Grinning skull. Grinning skull. Um, you are able to read Undercommon. Uh, no, I'm not. Grinning skull. I, can... I can't read it either. Okay. I think I don't think I can. Mm. Yeah, Common and Leonin. Nope. Surrounded. You have a spell that makes you able to uh, to read I messages. Do. I do, <laughs> but that also takes, I think, ten minutes to cast, oh, and it would break time. my invisibility. You can risk it for the biscuit. <sighs> and you can <laughs> cast you invisibility can... again. I yeah, mean... but you can see that uh, um, that the writing is a wonderful, um, graceful, and flowing. Does the writing style remind me of the handwriting from uh, Bjorn's old friend? Mm. Uh, um. Nope. Okay. 
Oh, but that was a good train of thought there. That yeah. Was, uh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So. Okay. I'm going to do Comprehend Languages. I'm going to cast it. Cast it. We have like an hour until okay. prayer. She shouldn't be back some soon. So I sit down, mm -hmm. pull out my pull out my spell book, yeah. and the invisibility breaks. But and... that also means that the invisibility on Illyria breaks, right? Mm -hmm. Because you cast. Did you did uh, Illyria? I, did I you cast, cast that on myself? Oh, you cast on yourself. You cast invisibility yourself, Illyria. I thought that uh, Rowan also cast uh, invisibility on you. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Nope, okay. That, that's fine. Well, I'm the only one visible currently. Oh, cool. Good. Um, and I'll uh go through the whole verbal somatic, um, mm -hmm. take a pinch of soot and salt, um, rub both under each one eye, mm -hmm. um, and <clears throat> 10 minutes later, I can comprehend everything. Okay. For, for an hour, so actually. So this will be on that side, I would like to keep an eye so that nobody's mm -hmm. approaching okay. the room. Okay. I guess Cedric as well. Um, so, as you can read the message, you learn that the author of this message accepts a request that was uh, given by Lavinia uh, to locate a magical orb stone that was seemingly hidden under the town of Winterhold. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're... You remember that Bjorn said that he found his orbstone, the first one, close to Winterhold, basically under it. The plot thickens. <laughs> mm. <laughs> plot. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, to accomplish this, the author has con contacted someone that is called Shade Dresslin. Need Who soldiers and assassins will stop at nothing to retrieve the orb? Uh oh. The message is signed by the name of Char Saxfire. You have no clue who this person is. Okay. Okay. So Shade Threslin was the Assassin to uh, what was the person that was contra uh, contracted? Okay, and who has like a lot of people under them that could do the job? All right, so Gnomish mob boss, got it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm um, putting names for you in the chat so uh, that you can read it and you. write it down. Awesome, and then Char Fire is the person who the letter was from. Okay. So they wanted the orb stone from underneath Winterhold, and that's the one Bjorn said he had, which mm -hmm. makes sense as to why we had a invisible stalker after us if they sent a whole bunch of assassins there. Which I mean, they know that Bjorn found it, or mm -hmm. they at least know, they don't necessarily know that Bjorn found it, but they know that we have it now at least. Mm -hmm. So Bjorn could be safe. Mm -hmm. Most important. Um, also, you can give me investigation check for the overbooks. Yes. Ooh, much better. Natural 19 plus 5, 24. Okay, so you're looking for the overbooks. You see that there's also a diary of Lavinia there. And as you compre um, compare the, the writing in the diary with that, what, you've, uh, what you saw before in the letters of Bjorn, you recognize that there is some similarity between them. Oh. 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 Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Wait, Back just to the notes. Um, Hemlock isn't there, but just for me, out of character, um, mm -hmm. is it? So the handwriting looks like one that we saw earlier in mm -hmm. Bjorn's letters as well. Mm -hmm. For oh. the from the diary. From the diary. So mm -hmm. from diary of Lavinia. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the the words from the diary of Lavinia seem similar to Erin Hilston's handwriting. Yeah. At least, uh, uh, yep. The, the, Similar, the, there's similarities. Mm -hmm. you could yeah. Huh. Okay. But so, like, what? Technically, 
Lavinia's handwriting or notes that are in her diary that someone else wrote? Since it's her diary and the diary, oh, so uh, the just writing like... in in the, di the 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 writing in the diary looks all, always the same. It's probably her writing. Um, I'm okay, gonna. Okay. Are the are the entries dated in any way? Uh, not really. You can't find any clear dates in there. Damn. It seems like time has no meaning for them. That's why there is a two a.m. Like um. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a very cult-like thing to do. Um, yeah. I'm going... Uh, um, if... Okay, I'm gonna take the diary and skim through it and see if Bjorn's name sticks out at all. If she mm. mentions Bjorn in the diary. Mm. You can't find anything. Okay. Of this, cool. yeah. What is the last thing she wrote in it? Um, the last thing she wrote in it um, was basically, yeah, um, we are about to make some progress here. The orb stones are close to get. Okay. So she knows that they're close. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll. All right, I will leave the diary mm -hmm. where I found it, mm -hmm. as as well as everything else that I've mm -hmm. rummaged through, and I'll just say to the open air, "All right, Illyria, um, they might be a bit further along and know a bit more than we expected them to." Um, All right. And our friend Bjorn might have actually been unknowingly giving them more information than he led on. Huh. How odd. I mean, why do you say that? Um, and I'll, like, look around and be like, uh, let's find a safe place with the others and um, we'll fill each other all in then. Yeah, but but wait, did you find out, like, where the op zone is in here somewhere? Is it, is it written somewhere? I don't know. <laughs> oh. um, uh, I didn't. Um, the last entry was that the, all the orb storms are coming close together. Uh. But I'm guessing something so important would probably on be on her person. Unless, um, are there any like lock boxes or like um, heavily secured chests or like secret compartments in any of the dressers or anything? I know it's nope. like simply. Simply played out. Simply. Really simple. Okay. And he's like, well, don't think okay. it's in here at least. All right. Okay. You still have some rooms that you haven't been in there. And uh, especially Cetrian knows that there's at least one room that she wasn't even allowed to go in. Which was for the, the inner circle of the cult. Interesting. I think we need to regroup. We have a bunch of bits of information, but mm -hmm. maybe if we all get back together, we can focus in on what to do next yeah. and bide some time until this place clears out for prayers. Yeah, we should find him locum. Oh yeah, I wonder how far he's gotten along with that laundry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because, because that's the important information we're getting here, right? That's... Yeah. <laughs> but we will find out about this after the break. <laughs> Oh. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. Man, Perfect that was transition point. That was some plot. <laughs> like we're all Look going all to notes. get to get him luck out of the. <laughs> yeah. I get it better with this. We're... I called it. Athar called it too. I just. It was a bad idea. We can only hope that they don't know that we have the orbs, or that like we are here. Well, they know we have the orbs. They might not know we're here yet unless they're tracking the orbs, which would be yeah. a problem. Uh-oh. Yeah. Don't, um, don't, don't say that. When was that um, last entry? Like, was that from, like... There was no dates on in the diary. Okay. That's why I asked. I, I was also going to check if she had any entries from back when, around the time Bjorn sent those letters. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, but yeah. no dates. All right. Oh, well. All right. What can we do? Shall we take a break? All right. Yes. Yep. Break. So we'll yes. be back at... <laughs> 
like what, 10? Some few minutes after 10? Uh, a few minutes after 10. Give it a, at least 5 after 10. So <laughs> we have right. like at least 10 minutes. All right. Well then. All right. See you then. See you in about a little bit more than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ta 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 We are back. <laughs> Welcome back to the madness. Or you know, the laundry. The laundry. <laughs> That's the laundry. madness that is laundry. That is yeah. kinda the same thing. So um yeah. Where's this other pair? <laughs> yep. I only found one oh. one sock worst of a one. <laughs> Dang it, Fitz! <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, we are back. Uh, thank you for watching and being back. Hope you all had some some good break. You all got hydrated. And something to eat. So, welcome back, Kiet. I hope you Hello. have fun so far. I so... took notes, Luke, because I, I couldn't. But at least now we have like all the names and stuff written yeah. down. There were yeah. a lot I of I got names. really like like really bad notes that no one will be able to make sense of besides me. But they're there. I mean, at least you have it. <laughs> <laughs> plot thickens. The plot thickens. What? Shade <laughs> I did write their names completely wrong, which is actually weird. the plot hey. thickens in the kinky uh, cave. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep I keep going into that joke, but I'm just like so excited that there's like maybe a sex positive like BDSM dungeon here yeah, where people are actually lovely and we're just like <laughs> making up all this stuff. We really found yeah. the wrong cult, guys. We really yeah. found the wrong cult. Yeah. Maybe in other times this would have been a really interesting cult. Yeah, I'm not really about romanticizing dragon death cults that focus yeah. on cleaning. So I, I mean, we're focus on cleaning. I think we had it right the first cult. time. Maybe right. the next cult. <laughs> Maybe the next cult. Yeah. Try again with the next cult. We'll just we'll just take their one, gear. One know? that doesn't make me scrub not. floors. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's one of the kinks. Oh, medical kink? Who we are to judge them? Yeah, exactly. No kink shaming. <laughs> Exactly. All right. <laughs> Never king shaman. But let's freaking get on with the. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. If you like what you see so far or here, you can follow us on Twitter or you can follow us on our Discord and share your thoughts on all the things there so that everyone can read it. <laughs> just, just smash the button down below on this video there you will enter our uh dungeon <laughs> <laughs> we're not escaping this nope i'm not letting you escape <laughs> B bdsm just means brilliant discord server membership so this, uh... there you go. yes there you go <laughs> Oh god. Next next stream I'm just gonna show up in bondage gear. <laughs> oh well I think we're, we're 18 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Tasteful, because we're on Twitch, we can't be banned. But you know. I mean as long as most of you yourself is covered. Right? Like the sensitive parts. You, yeah. Like the feet. For some feet, reason, right? Yeah, the most dangerous of all parts, the feet. It is part of, of Twitch's guidelines, isn't it? Though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, to can't... be fair, I don't want to see other people's feet. No, I'm just saying. Uh, well, so anyway, about these dragons. Uh, if you want to see more of our uh, interesting talks uh, that are uh, based on multiple levels. Uh, you can follow our seer. Subs you can also subscribe if you really like what you see or hear. I mean, it's it's probably more about uh, that what you hear. Offer than that, we are continuing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, 
you're still in the dragon cults and you found the private chambers of Lavinia and her private correspond uh, correspondence with some people that seem shady enough to look for the ores. Uh, especially since one of them is called Shade. <laughs> no, like literally Shade. Yeah. <laughs> literally Shade. Shade. Yeah. <laughs> Not to throw any shade here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you know that there's just one room that you haven't looked into. And you know that there's not much time until the next um, prayer round. Mm -hmm. Which will be around, let's see, how long is the night prayer? Um, around 30 minutes. That's what Satria knows. Mm -hmm. Okay. 30. So I guess we're leaving the room, right? I mean, there's nothing else in there. Uh, I didn't see anything nothing else, so I guess seems... so. Okay. So, and Satyra would know that the uh, 10 p.m. Pr prayer would be in the main prayer room. So, the uh, ceremonial room will be free. And no one there. Mm -hmm. So, what are you doing? I think the plan was to try to regroup if we could, which means mm -hmm. we just have to all go back to Hemlock. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm no longer invisible, which is important for me to remember um, <laughs> before I do something too stupid. Um, so I have the cloak on. I'll put on the big hood, um, try my best to, you know, fit it over my mane, just like stuff it in, mm -hmm. um, keep my head down and try to go with Athar and Sadria and like blend in with them as the four of us mm -hmm. go back to Hemlock. Yeah. Um, Aluria, your spell is about to run out rather soon. Um, so you want to do the same like Rowan as you have to now the, uh, the opportunity yeah. to do this? Yeah, we, we're gonna do this as a group. I'm not okay. casting it again. Yeah, okay, I have a rope on, mm -hmm. okay. So you're joining again as four people. Mm -hmm. Hamlog is probably still folding laundry. I think I'm somewhere around 54 ropes by this point. Yeah. And some mismatched socks and other things. Okay. Yeah. So you will find him in the storage room mumbling to himself. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's normal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like... It's also probably not really uncommon in this place since it seems like like a, a lot of these people are mumbling to themselves. <laughs> I'll walk in behind him and go, Initiate, um, you're not exactly folding those two standard operations. But with my back still to me not knowing that it's Rowan, I go like, um, well, um, I'm new, I'm still learning, um, the uh, initiate Fitz was supposed to show me how to, but he went over to the kitchen um, and I slowly turn around. And I would assume that I noticed that, like, there's quite some volume underneath yep. your hood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I... And like, wait a second. <laughs> cool, I actually think you're doing a quite great job, actually. Do find my ship. <laughs> Thank you. Um, are you alone? Oh no, the rest of them are right here. Can't you see them? Oh, your mane was a little bit in the way. Like, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> aside. <laughs> we did come over. Oh, so. oh. yeah, yeah, we're there. We're oh, there. this is excellent. We're, we're all together, Sergio. And I, I walk up to her and like greet her. It's good, good to see you again. It's good to see you too. I thought. It was good to have a break from you, don't get me wrong. But I didn't miss you. <laughs> I didn't miss you that much. I mean, I, I do get that from Missed time to time. Missed you after like two hours when nobody else is freaking talking. Uh, it, that does sound terrible to me, but I've heard people enjoy that, yes. Um, <laughs> so, but did you, did you find anything out here? Did, 
is there an orb stone somewhere here? Did we... What's the plan, gang? So I imagine that Rowan has clued us all into what he found. Or um, was he not, about to? Uh, not quite yet. I haven't. Um, are the 11 people still asleep in the room right below us? Mm, yep. Uh, okay. Well, some of them are about to get up for the prey. Okay. Um, and like the praying, oh, well, I can ask Sadria, like, so this praying situation, is it required? Does everyone have to go? Would we be noticed if we weren't there? Well, I guess they don't know we you, exist. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, they don't have like a shock collar on you or anything, but like, if you don't want to, it's definitely going to stick out. Like, mm. So, Cedra, you, you notice that there are quite a lot of cultists. And that no one is counting them. So, and since you don't know most of the faces around here, it would probably not be that terrible to just try to sneak away. Yeah, I just mean, I mean like, at if least someone you can caught try. you somewhere else. Yeah, it's yeah. Not then, like, oh, then... I just didn't feel like going to prayers today. Yeah, yeah. If if you coughed, uh, coughed somewhere else, then it's like, okay, yeah, you sh you fucked up. But if you're not, then as long as nobody sees us. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. if that's the case, then why don't we lay low until the prayers start, and then I'll fill you in on what I found. Um, I just don't want to get overheard, blow our cover before we're, before we're there, you know? Oh. Everyone seems a bit too keen here. Nothing else to do. How long is it approximately until prayer would start? Uh, by Pretty now, soon, probably right? around half an hour or so. Want a full laundry for half an hour? I mean, we can also still use our invisibility spells on all of us. Yeah, exactly. True. I was thinking more of the voice, the audio, the audio of it all. Um, I mean, also just being paranoid. We are talking right now just fine. Yeah, I mean, no one's here except for us right now. Wait, are you... You mean that we want to join them during prayer time, right? No, we don't want to join them during prayer time. Yeah, we want to Apparently. snoop around. We want to snoop around. Yeah. Um, well, I'll... I'll take a like gander around, and if no one's around, I'll start casually folding laundry and mm -hmm. filling everyone in on what I learned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and like making quiet small talk, since talking is apparently not all that condoned here. Um, I, I mean, you can talk. It really depends on how loud you talk. All right. <laughs> I'll get I'll get all nice and close. We'll all make mm -hmm. a little folding line. Library rules. Library rules. Library rules. Yeah. And I'll just fill them in and be like, um, so the biggest thing that stood out to me is that our good boy good boy Bjorn back back at town might have been given a bit of information to the wrong side without him knowing. Mm -hmm. I found some well, I found Lavinia's diary, took a quick peering through. Um the handwriting was pretty pretty similar to that of Erin's, that old um, archaeology, archaeologic, archaeologist <laughs> friends that Bjorn had. Um, yeah, that's concerning, definitely. The something that's slightly more concerning is that, from what she wrote, the last thing she wrote was that they were very close to making a big breakthrough, and that they know that all the orbs are close together. Hmm. Which I don't know if that means she knows that we were on our way here. And she was waiting for us to get here. Or if she thinks we're still back in the wild somewhere and she's lost track of us. Either way, I think they are a bit more prepared for us than we may think. But do we really want to stay here then? Look, I'm not, yeah. a, I'm, not a, I'm not a smart man, but this sounds awfully dangerous. So you well, think it's a lie that the orb is here and they're just waiting to get ours? I, I'm not sure, but if this Lavinia is so well informed, I don't like the fact that we're here with, you know, what we're carrying with us. True. 
you can okay. try. So, I mean, we, we can sneak out still. We can, you know, cast invisibility and just be safe and just leave this place. Can anyone locate any objects? Does anyone mm, have that spell? Unfortunately, no. Um, we did exactly this week. what they wanted what they wanted us to do we brought the the orb the third one is here so that's good confirmation that's but true. we brought the other two and they know we did can you aren't they where are they are they in the back of holding they're in the back i do not have that today but i might if we want if we want i don't i, I also don't know if they if she knows that we are the ones carrying it she knows that someone's carrying it. From what I saw in the writings, there was no determination that, like, oh, a giant lion, a half orc, and a mm. masked person are carrying the orb. So, but we should... better not take any risks. I mean, we exactly. don't know because we also got stalked that one time by an invisible stalker. So, and we also thought we would be followed, but we were followed. Look, it's true. We also don't know if they can track the orb in the yeah. little extra-dimensional space that we have it in currently. We should just leave. Is that is that possible? Why not? Game users, can you can you track something in a different plane? I well, I mean, I the back of holding is that. a different. Is that in a different it's, plane? Then? It's it, only on back of holding. Back of holding is, holding is a demi plane. plane yep. Yeah. So and with um, uh, with that spell, you can only track something on the same plane. So it's you will have. They can't. They they can't. Yeah. Well, that's good. I guess either but, Illyria or Rowan or Hemlock would know. But the thing is, or, then, we we have the orbs with us. We have no guarantee that there is a third orb here, but we do have true. to we do have to guarantee of the risk that we're close to someone who seems to know more than we thought they knew. So the the, the thing is also that there must be something here that mm -hmm. might have something to do since uh, the cult is quite centered around the, with the mm. dragons. There was that, uh, that I think it was silver. Yeah, silver dragon. The silver yeah. dragon was I not did... that far away from this place. So, That's a good point. Yeah, Does so... this? I this... just says like, well, they. She mentioned if Rowan read it correctly, she mentioned that she was happy that the three orbs were coming closer together. So, my money is on that the third orb is here. Sadria, what exactly happens during prayer time here? Or what happens during prayer time here? Uh, <laughs> all the cultists join together, either in the main prayer room or in the ceremonial room. Uh, the ceremonial room is in the morning. So they are all joined in the main prayer room for the 10 p.m., the next one. So they are, they are there. There is uh, Lavinia there leading the prayers. And, they, uh. and basically the rest of the layer is there's no one except the two people that are outside guarding. I I got a plan then. You're we not all gonna sing the tune of Kumbaya, but we sing Tiamat <laughs> instead of Kumbaya. Tiamat, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> Why? Do... Sorry, you're getting. Look. Also, I'm I'm sorry because uh, I interrupted you before Luke, and I don't know what you were gonna mm. say. Oh, I was, um, the, the layer we're in, does it look like it was carved by tools or does it look like it could have possibly been carved out by giant silver dragon claws? The, the layer you're in. Yeah, the layer we're currently in. Does it look like it's been kind of like refitted? Like, well, um, uh, you can give me, uh, I will say a nature check with this adventure since you I, I mean you as a as a professional Leonin pirate, you probably haven't been that much in caves. I haven't been in too many caves, nope. <laughs> um ooh, that is double eights, so that's a total of ten. Again, mm, it's for you. It seems like this must have been a natural cave that was a little bit re restyled in the way that it made it more a bit more home. <laughs> hmm. What were you saying, Hemlock? 
if it's the case that most of the people here are at the prayers in the evening, that means that most of the other spaces here are empty. So, I'm already pretending to be an initiate here, so I'm gonna go with those people to the prayer. I'm gonna give one of you my bag, and you gonna try to get as much info as possible while we're at prayer. Once prayer is over, we meet up outside. At the farm? Yeah. Um, can you warn us of when the prayer is over? I got a little bit more juice in me today for one final sending, if necessary. Uh, you might not want to be casting spells in the middle of prayer. That's the thing. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I want to be very careful with that. Are you are you guys sure we should stay? Like, I mean, I feel like she would have written something in her diary if she found that orb or something. I mean, isn't that exciting? Would she write that down if you really I'm, use the diary? I mean, I didn't really get to read the whole thing. The last I skipped to the end and read, and she seemed pretty excited about the progress they were making. So I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. that the orb is here somewhere. And we haven't all seen right. all the rooms. That, and... Um, is the prayer okay? So is the room the that's prayer room to... is yes. connected to the entrance? Okay. So that was the room where you have um, gone in when you were in the entrance hall. Okay. So so it's um, not the room connected to the prison that they'll be having prayer at a ten. No, uh, at the prison there is still one prisoner that you have seen. Okay. So uh, next to the library is a ceremonial room where you haven't okay. been in, and next to the ceremonial room is another room that Cedria knows is there but hasn't been in there. Okay. Which seems to be for the inner circle. Um, so we should check that out. We should check that out. Um, do you know who that prisoner is, Sadria? The blue with the no. blue robe. Uh, did I get a chance to talk to any of the prisoners? Um, if you. You could have go and gone there since you tried, pretended to be one of the cultists. So since you noticed that they are talking to the prisoner. So um, it's quite common that at least one of the cultists sits there and talks to the prisoner. So, okay, yeah. um, if, um, so if you would have done this, question mark? Um, I Flocked guess. Up and been like, yeah, dragons are great. What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, dragons. <laughs> you would have gotten to know that this person is called uh, Yanni. Um, that he is a traveler, for, um, or basically a merchant who travels between Whiteport and Northwind Gate. And that he was captured by the cultists a few days ago. Mm. So, and um, as far as you noticed, he isn't brainwashed yet. Yet. So, okay. yeah. Well, merchants. So, all right. Um, so what exactly is the plan then? Like, uh, we we are going to look into that room, I guess, to see if there's something, and then... It's the last place we haven't checked yet. Okay. If we can get in there. Even, yeah. even if they don't have the orb, if in her diary she was talking about all the progress they've made, she might have a better idea of exactly where to find it than what we do right or now. Or maybe the progress is just that she somehow, you know, wrote that she wrote that letter to Bjorn being someone else and then just saying that she, I don't know, the progress is to kind of basically lure us into a trap by being here. True. <laughs> that might be also a good way to progress things. Well, to get then orbs. we'll just uh, electrocute literally everyone and leave. Like I win, can do win. that. I have a spell for that. Mm. Um, me too. <laughs> I agree. I agree with well, Alaria, but the other option is leaving empty-handed, and we we came here for a reason. We have to do it. Can I also remind us that on the way here, 
we came past a corpse of a gigantic dragon. And we don't have any proof for it yet, but I kind of have the gut feeling that this cult is related to whatever killed that dragon. Mm-hmm. I have a little bit of proof that this cult has actually seen dragons. The prisoner, the cultists were talking to the prisoners and talking about how, asking if he had seen the dragons yet, and talking as if they had seen the dragons. Right. So at least we know that they have had some sort of contact with them. I also mm-hmm. forgot that in the room there was a scroll with a seal of a grinning skull surrounded by stars. Does that sound familiar to anyone? Would, would it sound familiar? Would it? Would it? <laughs> yeah, would it? No. Not even to someone who's very good in stories and stuff like that? <laughs> nah, not even to someone who is very good in okay. stories and making up shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looked awesome. Ouch. It was. It was a really cool sigil. Yeah, it really cool. steal it for ourselves if we end up killing the guy. Yeah, to be honest. It feels uh, are we the baddies sigil. I mean, it would like fit perfectly <laughs> into my room. I would, I would like to look at it. It was, it was a grinning cool. skull. Yeah. So, um, uh, Sadri is going to turn to Illyria and be like, okay, look. Last time you wanted to leave, and we all wanted to stay. Yep. You were and totally right. what did we right. do? We fought a fucking- You were totally middle. right. But, and she holds up her sword and like tips her crown and she goes, but we did get something out of it, even though it totally sucked. Okay, so, well, then this is also totally gonna second, suck. I told you so dance. And... <laughs> See? That well, that, a... that's what I'm saying is you can preemptively tell us that you told us so because we already know, but like, we got to get in that room. We don't have any other leads. I mean, and we I have wanna... one. We have one. Lavinia, and we've already gotten into her room once. And if we could all, we could set our own kind of trap for her. We could all get into her room during prayer time, go invisible, and wait for her in her room. All right. Jam the door, and hopefully she's not powerful enough to kill us all in one blow. Rowan, yeah. Rowan, you and I just grab the sides of his face and go like. Sadria, you, 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 give you. me a history check if you have seen Lavinia. During the day, somewhere. Okay. Oh yeah, because we haven't seen her at all. No. We've been through pretty much every room except one. Yeah. No. But she's been secluded in the ceremony room this entire time because we've been here for at least an hour and a bit. Uh-huh. Thirteen. Um, you haven't seen her since the morning prayer, which is like already a long ago. Is that normal? Like, mm, would she only be visible like, during there's prayers? There's been like or... three prayers since then, so we would have oh. seen her. That's not good. It's not good? Is she usually around? Well, from the day that, that you've been here, does she usually hang around the premises? Mm, from what you remember, she wasn't around that much. So she's got another hidey hole somewhere. I bet that's where she's hiding that orb, wherever she disappears to in the, during the day. I was one level higher. I could scry on her. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! What kind of options? What kind of options do we have for a hasty escape if we need to? Because if we can get out of here in the case of emergency as quick as possible, we could we could try a try some way to at least get into this inner circle chamber. Well, oh, I can make the weather real crap. That could be distracting, we're, potentially we're lethal. True, we are inside. Yeah, but it's never stopped me before. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I could fill a very big area with a bunch of cloud and obfuscate everything if we need to smoke bomb to get away. I can make um, some breathe fire or ice like a dragon. And cast a giant sphere that you saw when we fought the, um... Is there no one able here Maybe. of illusion magic? Um, Just a small illusion about the, so, size of an, of the size of an orb stone. Uh, Cetra, you also remember that it seems like there is some kind of stream that connects the ceremonial hall with the, uh, with the, the food hall. Stream like water, like water, like swimming. Interesting. Um, 
Well, I don't really know what's up with the stream or why those would connect from the food hall to the ceremonial thing. It, oh gosh, I hope that's not what the soup is from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, you guess it's probably an underground uh, river or something. Since it seems natural. You probably escape that way. Mm. I can cast that... control water while we're in there if I need to. No, mm. right. That could also be where uh, Lavinia disappears to you in the day. Goes down to the river, goes somewhere else, maybe. maybe. Takes her somewhere mm -hmm. else. Um, but it is also a good escape route if there's a river out of here. But escape with what? We don't even have the orb yet or even know where it is. Exactly. We... The only thing, if we go now, the only thing we know is that there's something that Bjorn has been feeding information to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. It's the only next Not step. A lot. To be fair, we know everything that Bjorn told them. Yeah. Because he also told it to us. Exactly. Exactly. And just to be clear, I'm not blaming Bjorn for that. I think his heart is in the right place. But it would feel to me as if we came here all this way for just that. It has a trap, though. It could be a trap, though. It is so a trap, you guys. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, I get it. There's a room we haven't looked into. We should try it out. Sure. Sidria, do you have any idea in what way that inner circle chamber is locked? Do you have any idea of what kind of security measures are on there? Or, or if it even is, not a single door we've tried so far has been locked. If there's a door at all. There's a door. There's a need a door. Look, if this uh, is a trap, then we should spring Jesus. it against them. Mm -hmm. Look, if this is where... If they wanted us to hear with the orbs, then we're going to use those against them. All right. Go on. Okay, this is going to sound really stupid. But we need this place up in chaos. Mm -hmm. So we can track mud everywhere. That's one thing. We're gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that once we leave. But during prayer, I'm gonna walk into that prayer chamber, and I'm just gonna show them one of the orb stones. <laughs> and then I'm going to get myself out of here. They're gonna give chase. They're gonna want me, but you guys, they're compl you are free to do what you have to do here. Just to well, be clear, that, are you going that? to use that? Are you going to use stupid. an actual orb? Well, I, best case scenario, I have something that could make it look like it. That's why I asked if anyone has some kind of. No, I don't have any luminous spells. I, I don't have any luminous spells, but if we, it's kind of the same situation as with Sadria. If we if we waited a day, I could get the fabricate spell and then make an orb that looks like it. But okay. we don't we don't know well, what happens within a day. If we a day, I could exactly. prepare locate object. Hell exactly. One okay. thing. Mm -hmm. You know that are quite are, that there are quite many cultists are in here. You have no clue if they are informed about this or not. You don't know I if do. anyone. I I we, we don't we don't know exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you don't know if any one of them is close to Lavinia or not. Mm -hmm. So, and if you're going alone in there, I'm telling you now from my DM position, that could be very <laughs> well, dangerous for you. Well, to make, it, to, to make it clear, out of character clear, I'm very much as a player aware that this is a very dangerous plan. But my out of character reasoning for this, the goal of that would be that Hemlock would create such chaos and distraction here mm -hmm. that the rest of the party basically has free roam of where they want to go here, have extra time to break into the inner circle chamber to get out whatever can get out of them, and Hemlock will just make it his problem to get away. All right. But I'm just saying that this yeah, will, no, it's will fine. be very dangerous. I'm, I'm fully, and it's very nice of you that you mentioned that, I'm fully aware <laughs> of that as a player. It's just that yeah. we Hemlock is at the position that rationally... He would say, like, okay, we need to get out of here. This might be dangerous. But he feels like he would be leaving empty-handed. And he's trying to, like, spring the trap against them. 
assuming um, that this is a trap, which he doesn't know. We might, we might not have to later. leave immediately. It, yeah, I'm if you sure wanna, there's a different way. If you want to cause chaos, you shouldn't go in there right at the beginning. We will use that third, full 30 minutes of prayer before you do anything, if that's what we're doing, which I'm not fully sure. I like that plan, because I... I mean, I like it because of the chaos factor of it, but I don't know if there's actually a mm -hmm. result that benefits us. So the whole place gets up in arms. If the cultists even know what the orb is, you could just raise the, the orb and be like, oh, what's that? Um, yeah, or maybe they'll it. just stab you to death and then get the orb. If, like and if they do that, I don't have Revivify prepared today. You'll just be dead. Wait. Don't think the cultists know. Like following what I've read in these books and what Sadra has taught me about the play the prayers and what I've seen so far, mm. most of the people here don't have any idea what the orbs are. So it might not be as chaotic as you ex expect it to be. So um, what about that plan Rowan had at the beginning? We go invisible. We go into that room of hers and just wait, and then I don't know. Oh, I definitely want to check out that room. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you all want to check out that room, then that, but then there's the thing that Sadria and... hasn't seen Lavinia all day since morning prayers, yeah. um, which means that she could not show up that night. So we're just waiting in her room for all night, which also wouldn't be too bad. Um, we'd at least be safe in a private place that initiates aren't allowed. Um, so the only person going into that room would most likely be Lavinia. So as soon as we hear the door open, we spring. Um, yeah, and ask her if she has an orb. Probably not, but we ask her, and then, all right. So that's the plan then. Oh, okay. Sum it up for me. What's the plan? Well, is that is that the plan? Are we is is that what we all think? Because we could also, if we don't want, to, <laughs> if we don't <laughs> we don't want to do that plan. We could also just check out the underwater river. Okay. And see where that goes. So we actually know where our escape route goes. Well, okay. if, we, if we don't want to... Third plan, we could be chill for five seconds, go what? to prayer normally, wake up tomorrow with our spells prepared, and then we'll know exactly where Lavinia is if she shows up or not, rather than guessing where she is. Or at least exactly where the orb is if it's within your range. Thought about it. The only problem I have with this is where do we sleep and do we sleep at all? We sleep with in the regular barracks where all the other cultists are. There's there's a bunch of them, nobody counts, it's like not a big deal. It's not like everybody has okay. their it hasn't own been bed a or it hasn't been a bit deal a big deal until now. Uh, meaning I feel like we are hidden, but we might not. They might know more than, than we think. We might be tracked That's, if, by if, magical means or by physical means. They might know we're here and they're just letting us be here. And I'm not sure I can take that risk. If only, if there's only a slight chance that we're actually in a trap, I think trying to sleep here will not make things easier. Yeah. So I think okay. I think it's between the first two options. We either spring a trap on Lavinia All herself, right. wait in her room, or we check out the underground underground river yeah. and see where that goes. All right. Um, okay. We might even find a, an easier place to sleep down there if we count with a dome exactly. or something like that, and we can hide ourselves. Then we can sleep there. I would be totally fine with that. Uh, exactly. While you're discussing, you hear that there is some shuffling in the room besides the uh, bin. Uh, the storage room and you see that some of them already are about to go to the to the main prayer room right. so if you used your half hour up for deciding what to do um yeah i also prayer. imagine that rowan folded a lot of robes in the meantime and yeah <laughs> i did and i will say i give you another week of deciding what to do and we're ending mm -hmm. this year for tonight <laughs> Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Great. Because I have the feeling you're not coming to a conclusion right now. I mean, I would. I mean, I am for springing into Lavinia's yeah. face, but I mean, yeah. if you all want to go check out that cave, just tell. Just we can end this now. Like one yeah. out, like one or two. Like, come on, guys. Look, if 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 well, Hamlet, we if, could if, do if... the responsible thing that doesn't end in a TPK, or we could be crazy murder hobos and we go in with no plan. 
One of them is drama. One of the them Overwatch one as well. The campaign. <laughs> so uh, if <laughs> I, come on, something. I mean, those are good plans. We have to do something. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's look. It, it, I don't want to put a, a knife on your throats. <laughs> yeah. No, but oh, no, the, oh, yeah, to not get at all. Just to get into this. And just <laughs> not at all. We could honestly thing. plan forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, just having a thing right so, now and just go do it. And, yeah. and so let's let's take a vote then. Yeah, no. Um, yeah. Whatever for we plan do. Number one, spring a, springing a trap on Lavinia in her bedchambers. Raise your hand. Yeah, I'm the only one, nice. I guess. That's fine. Okay, so yeah, we do the cave. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we'll do the cave. All we right, go to the okay, underwater cave. Yep. All right. Okay. So that's where we're going to start next session. Yes. Yep. Very good. Carolyn's Thank like, you. what the hell just happened? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I it's you. just what cave? <laughs> oh, the the under the the river. The, the river, river. The underground yeah, river. There was yeah. Some yeah. Some the stream. Or cave. Or when it, I no, I I said there's a river that is connecting the two caves, which is going underground under the under the um under the mountain. Uh. So there is probably you have no clue, but there's probably the I will say a good 50 to 60% chance that there is no air for you to come up in between while you're traveling. Uh, oh. Okay, it sounded like this. We had the wrong idea. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I said this, okay. this river is connecting the two, two caves and you can see that mm -hmm. it's connecting the two caves. Right. Well, then, it's, okay. then it's... But, okay. It, it's, it, 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 Why is it, it important have... then? Why is it so, important? Okay, never mind. That's not important. I brought this up as a potential... <laughs> Escape plan for you if you're getting coughed in one of the True. areas so that you can jump into the river and travel through it to into the foot hole. Gotcha. Okay, so the only plan okay. we have is the spring and trap. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Then, then, oh, we're, no, it's totally oh, then we're, yeah. Then we're yeah, absolutely we should make stuff. sure. Yeah, we should make sure if she's here or not. Yeah. At all, right? Like, because there's just one room we haven't checked, which is the other secret room that. Uh, yeah. Sadra couldn't get into. I still well, want to see what is in there, do. but like, but if she's there, then it's a problem. So like, it's like, well, who is like, is I someone inside? I have turn invisible, go into that yeah. room. If she isn't there, we search the room. The orb isn't there, we just go. We no, just if go. You Maybe she doesn't know where the today. orb is. Yeah, if you have locate creature, then do do that. See if Lavinia is in the locate cave at creature, all. Uh, locate creature doesn't locate humans. Um, mm -hmm. It only locates like beasts. Oh, we mm. sent your familiar oh. into that room. I don't. Yeah, like we did for True. the other one. Yeah, we can True. maybe do that. All right. So we go. So, so we go to Lavinia's room. Yes. Yes. Set up an ambush there. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't come to her room, we check out the rest of the place. Yes. Yes. Which she won't come to her room right now because it's prayer time. No, of course. Yeah. yeah. No. Leads, no. And no. She leads prayer. Yeah. yeah. So and. The prayer isn't happening in the ceremonial chamber, right? It's happening no, in the No, it's in the room. main prayer room. Yeah. Okay, so okay. we could even then check out the ceremonial if... chamber while prayer is happening, and yeah. that within that 30 minutes, we have yeah. 30 minutes to check out that room and then make our way to her bedroom, which would be good because she would most likely go to her bedroom after prayer anyway. Also, we can we can check if she's there at all, because according to Sayadra, she wasn't there for the other, for the other prayers of the day. And if she's not, that might be dangerous, because why isn't, why isn't she here? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. is what we'll we do next plan. time. And that's All what right. we'll do next time. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we got there. See, see, we see, got there. The, 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 the only thing that Kara has to do is threaten us with stopping the session, so we make a decision. That's. Uh... <laughs> like, no, like we weren't. We were a, a bit confu confused. because yeah. we weren't understanding like what yeah. the thing was. Yeah, the no. thing was confusing, but it's fine. Yeah. We have a plan now. Oh yeah, we got a plan now. I, I tried to help plan. with making like came up with like, escape plans. I'm sorry. Yeah. That it oh no! Totally me. good. Totally good. <laughs> Um, I can the, whack people in the face. It's fine. We're, we're just we're just <laughs> whack, six people whack. imagining things in our brains. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> shared hallucination. That's, yeah. Shared uh... hallucination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so that sounds like an awesome plan then. So, but we okay. got we got Sadria back this session. We got we, Sadria back. We uh we found out a lot of stuff. There was quite some things found in the notes of this Lavinia. Um. Mm -hmm. And um, we know what we're going to do next session. Yes. Which I will write down so we don't forget. So I don't forget. Oh. <laughs> Smart. Exactly. Now the DM can prep 
accordingly, and that's great. <laughs> which is, which is, by the way, a great tip for every DM out here. Make sure that by the end of the session, you know what your party yeah. is going to do the next session. That Isn't is, that yeah. great? Yeah. Oh, yes. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that only works for parties that plan. <laughs> I, I would say most parties plan, like, a lot, like, a long time. I don't know what you mean. It's not like we had two sessions of <laughs> mainly planning. And just FYI, just as a player, I would have loved to see what would happen if Hemlock just go get in there. Oh, my gosh. I know I was, I, I so I to tempted. see that, to be honest. I was so tempted. Thank you. Thank, th 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 I mean... Thank you. Thank you very great. much. Thank you very much for the warning there, Caro, that... Just giving me like an out of character, like, yeah, hey, this would ooh, be why that, the that would be I good, but, go. but I want to see it to okay. be honest. Yeah, so. don't even give warnings. Go. Why? Yeah. I like to put my characters in dangerous situations, so yes. um, I, 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 mean, I, 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 I feel like a person uh, since I don't want to see your characters die mm -hmm. like that badly, uh, <laughs> that badly. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I, I, I felt compelled to give at least a word of Absolutely. warning like, yeah, if you go in there, you could die. Absolutely, doesn't, doesn't that count as meta gaming? Just, just stop that. You can't just play a tabletop RPG without at least. A That's bit true. of Aww. meta gaming. It's true, it's true. <laughs> I would have. I would even have already it knowing that your character has stats and what the the spells are is kind of meta gaming. Yeah. Do we have, yeah. do we have any final words for the crowd we had today? The people in the chat who thanks once again for dropping by and watching us. <laughs> Go through this. Go through this. Yes, for a long time. <laughs> yes, that's that <laughs> very aptly put there, uh, Serial. Um... Mm. <laughs> Thanks for, for on, keeping Trish. up with us. <laughs> spring trap on spring trap when she gets there. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Make sure to follow us on the YouTubes and the Twitches and the Twitters. Um, join our Discord join because our Discord. it's a fun old place. Um, the more um, people, the more means. Wayne just asked how many gift subs are needed <laughs> so that Hamlock enters the room. <laughs> yes. Yes. There you go. Wayne, Wayne, you're the best. <laughs> you can buy our chaos. Yes. Buy our chaos. <laughs> yes. We're, we're just going to put a bar in the overlay, which is like the Hemlock bar. And if we have mm. enough subs yeah. that filled the hemlock bar, the hemlock there is some, something stupid. That hemlock well, I mean, does something stupid. If the adventure apparently, I mean, when the adventure apparently planned a TPK in there, I mean, I mean, it might as well happen. I mean, why not? Like, it's written like that, huh? I mean, we say that, but we did wipe out those two cults. Oh, I'm sorry. I did wipe out those two cults. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Outside with very little trouble. So, mm -hmm. I mean, one big storm's here. Yeah. I I am such a fan of these like rushed plans. I'm just very happy. Oh, yeah. I'm not playing my usual barbarian characters because I'm the first <laughs> one to just enter a room, kick the door down, and like whatever happens. Oh my happens. god! Oh my, oh, god. my goodness! Oh, no. I guess you're running into a chamber next session. Oh yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> well, um, I mean, we can joking. we can instill yeah. chaos in some I, other way. I just don't think using I, the orbs is going to work, especially if the leader happens to not okay. be okay okay uh, okay how about how about hemlock doesn't run in there with the orb you just run in there and just yell dragon, dragon suck, suck. <laughs> 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 okay i have dragons to... are the worst yes i have to make some notes for next week my next character will also be called wayne just so you can know already. <laughs> it's, uh... wayne fitzberger <laughs> yep so, okay, uh, we will see how everything plays out. <laughs> and if your character survives, you have still the opportunity to run in there in the praying room and say, yeah, everything dragons suck. Yeah. And I'll tap you with some dragon's breath just to add a little flair. <laughs> and then dimension door the fuck out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> oh. Dungeons and oh, dragons, boy. everyone. We'll be next, we're back next week, right? I mean, today it I felt like so. dungeons and dun in dungeons. Dungeons and dungeons. Yep. Yeah. Dungeons and laundry. Next and dungeons. time's gonna be cultist and dragons, though. 
Just wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll get to dragons eventually. We've seen a dragon. We have seen a dragon. It was dead, but we still saw it. We have seen a dragon. We're getting closer. Closer. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Next up, fighting a dragon. Ooh. Oh, we're not ready yes. for that. <laughs> oh my, that's the end boss, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. We just like use a wall glitch to jump. Did right you just meta the game the end boss? I mean, it's <laughs> called Rise of the Ice Dragon. I mean, that's <laughs> it has to be one ice dragon, right? <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's the one in the... the end boss. I mean, what else could it be? Uh, no, it was just the dragon in the beginning that was flying over the labyrinth. That's that's all. That was it. That's, yeah. that's the only time we'll sure, ever see it's the one. Only, only time. It's like yeah. that. It's like like one cool scene they put in every trailer. And then it just uh -huh. ends up to be disappointing in the movie, but it was just like trailer fodder. That's what we got mm -hmm. there. That one dragon that uh, that you saw over the labyrinth. Yep. And it also was translucent, not very icy also. So. True. Ice can be translucent. That's true. I guess. That's true. But w like we don't know if it was an ice dragon or not. Mm. So, and if you want to hear more, or join in our theory club about are dry ice dragons translucent <laughs> and are they even real and what happens next week with the group, will they find the last orb? Then join us again here on Twitch. Same time, same place. Exactly. With the same group. Same group. And we will see what chaos they will spread. Mm-hmm. What I plans will we make next time? <laughs> Come and see. How kinky it will be. Uh, <laughs> a lot. Oh, oh boy. boy. <laughs> thank you, chat. Thank, thank you, you very much, yeah, chat. Thank you, chat. And thank you, Caro. Thank you also thank again, Caro, thank you for running. Thank you for being here. <laughs> and, and we'll see you all next, next week. week. Yes, see you next week. <laughs> yeah, bye. Bye, bye. bye. Love you. Oh, wait. Wait, we there's need to host someone. There's bonus content. Oh, huh. right. <laughs> Who's on? I don't think anyone uh, I follow I, I, is I, I'm, I'm sending everyone over to check these out. Nice. Oh, over to the British. There we go. British. To the Brits. <laughs> there we go. Check them out. Have fun. Take care. Cuddle your pets. Water your plants. Water yourself too. Yeah, please. Oh, yeah, water yourself. <laughs> water yourself and stretch Wash yourself. Wash yourself off after this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Take little cold shower. Good luck, Good luck with the <laughs> flogging, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how it goes okay. next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I got that. <laughs> Good, Good night. night.